Recorded live. The question is, now, you see, the way you talk has frightened quite a lot of people, okay. all right, according to uh, what they've been saying and what I know. And I want to know that are you going to, not necessarily be meek and humble and all that, but are you going to uh, just... Uh, minimize your way of approach because not everybody is a revolutionary or they have not been trained to be that and the fear is keeping people away from coming together as they should. Now, what can you do about that? There's nothing I can do about that because it's my firm belief that somebody has to be that. Everybody can't be really mouth. Everybody can't be compromising. Everybody can't tiptoe through the tools. Everybody can't play politics. Everybody can't, um, if I haven't said it, compromise. Somebody has to be strong. I wouldn't have to be as strong as I am if I saw some others being strong like that. I could have toned down, but I'm feeling such desperation to get the message out, to try to plant the seed in those who are strong enough that the walls of their heart the walls of the of, of the uterus of their mind, metaphorically speaking, can hold that revolutionary life and not avoid it. So I'm not looking for a great crowds. Most of the great crowds, you can get a great crowd where a million will show up if you're compromising on the person. If you're telling them, that I heard some rappers and some musicians say, I'm going to the Million Family March, they said. I went to the Million Man March, and I did too. And they said, I'm going to the Million Family March because this time it's for everybody. So they were happy that white folks were being included. I said, I'll never have anything where the white man is included. All that matters is not at the Slave Theater right now. Because Alton Maddox says that what I'm doing is for the African. What I'm doing is for the black man and black woman. No white folks, they came to the door, they tried to get in, they criticized him for having me there, everything. They tried to take him to court, and the old Negro judge out there that owned the slave theater ends up putting Attorney Maddox out because he wouldn't let white folks in. There must be some place where white folks can't come. Now, white folks, we can't keep them out of here. This is Harry Tubman. If they came in here, they can sit under the fire that I'll put on their behind. They're welcome. Yeah, but when they come, I ain't changing nothing for them. If anything, it's going to get hotter and harder because I got examples to point to sitting in the audience. And I many times tune right in on them. Sitting right in the audience. Look at that old ugly beast sitting there. Look at the way squirming. White folks, I say, should never be able to come into a black revolutionary meeting and be comfortable. And be comfortable. They shouldn't be comfortable. They should be uncomfortable. So I'm that one. It closes doors in my face. It cuts back on money that could go in my pocket. It drives some women away from me.
I don't give a damn. I love them still, and I keep on pushing because somebody has to hold the line. And I'm going to hold the line. Back against the wall on the one-inch line. I'm holding the line. Go down, down, and I'm still holding the line. You ain't going in, cracker. You're not going in. Somebody has to do this. I'm comfortable I'm talking I'm, I understand I'm not going to be invited to this or that or the other. Somebody has to do it. And your children and your children's children will build on the legacy of us, the uncompromising legacy that I watch. And some of them will condemn you for being around and being such damn cowards. Your own children will condemn you. You were with him? What did he say wrong? But there was a manner in which he said, there's no manner to fight an enemy like this. You know? fight it with everything you got. Malcolm said, you want to, he said, you want to know when your enemy will understand that you want to be free? I'm paraphrasing him. He said, your enemy will understand that you want to be free. When your enemy knows that you're willing to do anything to be free. Anything to be free. God damn it, you won't even talk to be free. You want to dress it up. He, he's too rough. God damn it, the time is so rough. The tracker is rough. Everything is rough. But you, just weak with all your Africa on. It ain't no Africa, no goddamn way in your heart.
actors for making music that they trying to make on shit. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Hell yeah, this what this motherfucker's gonna give me shit. Fifty thousand to a hundred thousand to a half a million to a million for me to say this shit. This shit ain't gonna say it. This shit, nigga, come from nothing.
what's going on out there tonight, family? Uh, BB48. Let me shut it off with a praise. Now turn to glory to Garvey. Go on, little spirit of Dr. Khaled Abdul Mahali. Praise Harriet Tubman. Glory to Ida B. Wells. Go on, little spirit of Sister Granny Lou Hayman. Now, again, let's get it in. I uh, apologize for not starting it off right. Now, again, tonight's Think Tank Thursday is dedicated to our fallen soldiers, the comrades out there who fell in this war that we're dealing with these, uh, you know, we're dealing with this beast. And um, it's been a it's been a long war. We definitely at the at the least two thousand years in. Um, we four hundred years, you know, as a people over here via uh kidnapping, you know what I mean, as a as a uh the new African coming over here, you know, and so we wanna just deal with a lot a lot of that right there. We're just gonna run through some of the you know, we're gonna go through some of the names, some of the stories of the people who who passed and just uh pay our respect. Right now, family, I'm trying to get my trying to get my talk shoe open. That's uh, giving me a little problem right here. I'm trying to backdoor in with another program. What? Let me let me see if it. Uh, Right, it's just going to work now. Let's see. Nope, it's not going to work. Uh, like I said, we got it. It's, it's shut down on me. So I got to try the back door ran. So I apologize, family, because I'm not inside the chat right now. So shoot.com. Uh, let's see, let's see. Sign in. All right, all right, I'm straight. All right, I got the sign in right here. Let me see if I can sign in over here on this other one. Then we start hitting up the, uh, the soldiers at our past. But, uh, we see, though, uh, just, to, just to recap a little couple of different things, though, uh, you know the reason why we're going over this story is because it's a continuous thing and we're not really dealing with this like it's a war. So uh, they flash point us with emotions and we're not recognizing that this is a daily occurrence, so we think that it's, you know, so we move at it like it's a flash in the pan type of action, but it's not. And that's one of the things that's hurting us. Oh, let me see here. Let me see. All right, all right. Hold on, so let me see if I can get this open. I can get this open. We'll be really up and running right. This thing open. All right. Looks like it's going to do me right. Okay, it did me the right way. All right, all right. Now, now I'm ready for the. Now I'm ready for the get down. We'll pull this article. Put this article for the family. Hmm. Yeah, they and they study hitting us with everything. We don't know what the deal what the deal is with a lot of this stuff. We have Professor Griff come out um this week also had held a press conference. Professor Griff talking about some um uh, you know he just want to make sure that. Nobody get him um, mixed up with being um, with being associated with the alleged shooter from um, you know what I'm saying with the alleged shooter from Dallas. So he didn't want to get trapped up with that. So he was like, "Yo, yo, I can't make sure y'all don't trap me up. I don't want to be." In that, I'm not a part of that. I wasn't a part of that. I had nothing to do with that. You know, that's his that's his spill right now. That's what he's rocking with. So he, you know, he's scared that, you know, he's scared to be connected. You know what I mean, but um, all right. 
We got unarmed black people. Uh, police killed more than 100 unarmed black people in 2015. Uh, unarmed black people were killed by police at five times the rate of unarmed whites in 2015. Rates of unarmed people killing by killed. This unarmed, you know what I'm saying? This unarmed people. So the rates of unarmed people killed by police per million people in the United States. Um, white is like half a million. Hispanic is is like eight hundred thousand, and black people is close to. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm I'm bugging out. I'm bugging the fuck out. I'm bugging out. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. This this thing ain't making me. This graph ain't making no sense to me. I know people killed by police over oh, one million. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, for every two million, it's two and a half black people killed. For every million, for every uh, million people, for the Spanish people, it's a, a quarter. Of one person for white people is a half. All right. So now this is uh these this is the evidence of 2015, and we just gonna go through some of the stories, and uh you know, we just paying like I said we paying our respect tonight. So the family be lining up, and definitely, definitely let people chime in. You know if something stand out to you, but police killed at least 102 unarmed black people in 2015, nearly. Uh, nearly two each week. Um, uh, nearly one in three black people killed by police in 2015 were identified as unarmed, though the actual number is likely higher due to underreporting. All right. 37% of unarmed people killed by police were black in 2015, despite black people being only 13% of the U.S. population. Yeah, I'm here. Hold on. Somebody got something going on in the background. I don't got the lines muted right now, but if you come in, please mute your line. And um, so we just don't hear no background noise. Thank you. Well, all right. 37% of unarmed people killed by police were black in 2015, despite black people being only 13% of the U.S. population. Unarmed black people were killed at five times the rate of unarmed whites in 2015. Only 10 of the 102 cases in 2015 were unarmed black persons killed by police resulted in officers being charged with a crime. And only two of these deaths, Michael Ahibede, I don't know, there's some type of Arabic last name, Eric Harris, resulted in convictions of officers involved. Only one of two officers convicted for their involvement in Matthew Ahibede's um, death received jail time. He was sentenced to one year in jail and law to serve this time exclusively on weekends. Deputy Bates, who killed Eric Harris, will be sentenced May 31st. All right, so that doesn't pass. We have to go back and check that. But, um, so, so uh, you know, like they just said, I mean, two out of 102 black people killed at any cops uh, at any point in time get any type of reprimand. And as you see, one of the cops had to be sentenced, and the other one was... Um, Given weekend, weekend jail. You know what I'm saying? Yo, man, come on. I get to serve my jail time on the weekend. I to serve a year, but it's on the, come on, man. That's, yo, damn. That's lovely. You can't beat that. Can't beat that right there. Um, hold on, hold on, though. Because what I'm going to do real quick before I go into the, before I go into the story, what I'm going, what I'm going to do is get, uh, Deputy Bates finished. Let me see. Um. All right, Deputy Bates. Let's get that. 
let's get that information first. We go on, let me see. He was sentenced to four years. This is a young, he was sentenced to four years, and um, the preliminary sentence was, yeah, was on the 31st, but on June 1st, 2016, they, uh, they story on sentencing him. Yeah, he was sent to, and that was the maximum that he could be sent sentenced to four years. Um, Damn. And that's an old cracker. I don't know how many, know how many black people he didn't kill. That's an old cracker. But, yeah, he was sentenced to four years in maximum. Um, and and I and, and you already know Negroes was forgiven him. So we ain't going to really got to talk about that. But now let me get back into to exactly what we're dealing with, these 102 different people. Um We're gonna start it off with. We're gonna start it off. We're gonna go by uh, by the date the person was killed, uh, and it's gonna start. And uh, we're gonna start in December. You know what I mean? And go back to January. So we got December 31st. We got Keith Childress from Las Vegas, Nevada. U.S. Marshals conducted surveillance on a man and requested help from Metro when he fled. Police caught up with him. They claimed he had an unknown object in his hand. Assuming it was a gun, they shot him dead. The object turned out to be a cell phone. No officers charged with the crime for killing Keith. Betty, we got 12-25, Christmas uh, 2015. December 25th. Chicago, Illinois. Chicago police shot Betty Jones in the neck accidentally while trying to help a neighbor deal with a domestic disturbance involving his son, Quint- Quintonio LaGrea. The neighbor said he called police when his son tried to break his door down early in the morning and that Jones was shot when she opened the door to direct officers when they arrived. No officers have been charged with the crime for killing Betty. Kevin Matthews, December 23rd, Dearborn, Michigan. Officer pursued Matthews, who was reportedly wanted on a misdemeanor warrant. Officer uh, to do Matthews with pepper spray and shot him during the struggle. When they say Matthews reached for the gun, police said. Family members identified Matthews after the shooting and said he was being treated for schizophrenia. No officers charged. Leroy Browning, Palmdale, California. Deputies say Browning, 30, fled. When they attempted to arrest him for a DUI, they claim he put deputies in a bear hug and reached for a firearm before being shot. Nobody charged him come for killing Leroy. Roy Nelson, 12, December 19th, Hayward, California. Hayward, police responded to a report of a man needing emergency health evaluation. Officers arrived, determined Roy needed a psychiatric uh, needed an involuntary psychiatric hold and put him in the back of a police car. On the way to the hospital, police say Roy tried to kick out the car's rear window. The police forced Roy into a leg restraint after which Roy died. Uh, nobody got charged in Roy's death. Miguel Espana, 36, was shot and killed by NYPD officers in an incident that started with a traffic stop in the Bronx. Um, Gal ran um, after a crash in the Bronx, and um, he ran with the, for the police, and that ended in a wrong way crash. After that crash, Miguel jumped out the car, ran to a, another park, ran to a park where police killed him. The family said he ran from officers, officers because he doesn't have a license. Whether he ran from cops or not, it doesn't justify. You know that he got shot. Justin Jubal, a Spaniard's brother, said nobody charged for killing Miguel. But then you pick it. Um, November 19th, he from Barstow, California. 
He allegedly jumped the fence and became uncooperative when a deputy stopped to question him. Police uh, police say when they tried to handcuff uh, Pickett, he broke, a fight broke out, and then when the deputy shot him. Nobody charged in that. Tiara Thomas, Portage, Indiana. Him and police officers killed Tiara, who was the mother of three of his children. The motive is suspected to be financial. Officer Kevin Campbell was charged with the murder for killing Tiara. Cornelius Brown, November 18th, Opalaka, Florida. Police shot Carol Brown after he had the windshield of a police car and ignored commands from police. He was unarmed. Nobody charged. Chandra Weaver, November 17th, Kansas City, Missouri. Chandra was 48, was killed by Kansas City, Missouri police who crashed their patrol car into the driver's side of her Pontiac Grand Inn. Nobody charged. Jamal Clark, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Two Minneapolis pig lease officers shot Clark, claiming he interfered with emergency responders helping the assault victims. Activists and witnesses maintain that Clark was unarmed and handcuffed when he was shot. Nobody charged. Richard Perkins in Oakland, California. Oakland police were towing vehicles near 90th Ave and Bancroft Ave when they claimed Richard approached them and pointed a firearm in their direction. They shot him multiple times. Police later revealed the firearm was actually a toy gun. Nobody charged in that one. Let's see. Nobody charged in that. Um, Stephen Tucson, November the 12th. Officer crashed into Stephen's SUV while rushing to respond to a domestic call, killing him. He was 45. Nobody nobody charged with that that crime. Michael Lee Marshall, November 11th. Michael, 50-year-old, mentally ill man, posed no physical threat when three sheriff's deputies restrained him into unconsciousness at the Denver jail. He died after nine days on life support. Nobody charged. Lonzo Schmidt from D.C. Lonzo, 27, died while handcuffed in the custody of the D.C. Special Police. Special Police officers are armed security guards licensed by the city. No, nobody charged on that. Uh, even say, Officer Gary Paul Evans truck say 33 with a marked Seminole police pickup truck. Say was it with the truck left front, according to Florida Highway Patrol. Nobody charged with that. Anthony Ashford, San Diego, California. San Diego Harbor Harbor uh, cop claim he confronted Ashford 29 after seeing him looking in the cars near Nimitz Boulevard. After being tased, police claim Ashford reached for the officer's gun before being shot and killed. Nobody charged. Lamontez Jones, October 20th, 2015. Police say Lamontez 39 was causing a disturbance downtown and ran when police approached him. Police shot him several times, claiming he aimed the gun at them. Police later revealed that the gun was a toy. 19. Rayshawn Cole from Chula Vista, California. Border Border Patrol, Customs and Border Patrol uh, officer shot and killed her boyfriend, Rayshawn 30, in the Chula Vista apartment, telling police she was defending herself and he had hit her. No officers have been charged with the crime. Patterson Brown, Richmond, Virginia, number 20. Off-duty police, off, off-duty police officers, uh, off-duty police officers shot and killed Brown, 18, claiming he got to the officer's car at a gas station and began driving it while the officer was waiting for it to be washed. A witness told office, reporters that the officer identified himself as a police officer and ordered Brown to get out of the car. The officer claimed Brown made a sudden movement before the officer shot him. Nobody charged. 21, Christopher Kimball. This is November the 3rd. This is in East Cleveland, Ohio. Christopher, 22, was struck, killed by a police cruiser while crossing the street. The, the cruiser was speeding on his way to a reported car crash. Nobody 
charged with that. Junior Prosper. Junior crashed the car he was driving, a cab on the highway, and allegedly began to run away. Officer chased Junior, claiming Junior bit his finger before the officer shot and killed him. Prosper's mother said the police were not telling the truth. He's a nice person. And he's a person who respects all types of people. He's not aggressive. Um, he leave he leave behind four children. Nobody charged. Keith McLeod, Westertown, Maryland. An employee of a pharmacy called police report that McLeod tried to use a fake prescription. Cops spotted him in a parking lot. Fatally shot him after claiming he reached around to the small of his black. Abruptly whipped his hand around and pointed it towards the officer as if it was a weapon. He was 19. Unarmed. Nobody charged. Wayne Willard. Wayne Willard, Left Road, Michigan. Left Road, you know, Wayne Willard, a Left Road peace officer, was grilling in his backyard when Wayne, his 44 year old neighbor, allegedly jumped the fence. The officer fought Wayne and struck him in the head, knocking him down. Wayne was pronounced dead at the scene. Nobody charged. India Cager, Navy veteran India Cager, was in a vehicle with her four-month-old baby, and Angelo Perry was being followed by unmarked police cars. When India parked at a 7-Eleven, the officers also parked and approached the car. Officers claimed Angelo shot at them before they shot over 30 times at the vehicle. Angelo and India were killed and the baby was unharmed. Kago mothers dispute the police narrative. It was very clear to me that India was not part of the police investigation based on responses I got from police. She was totally innocent. He was killed along with Angelo, and the baby survived. Nobody charging that. Tyree Crawford, Newark, New Jersey. Uh, officers, officers responded to a carjacking involving juvenile suspects. When the vehicle was pulled over, passengers got out of the vehicle. Crawford was hit by the front end of an oncoming police vehicle killing him. Nobody charged. James Carney, number 27, Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, police say they saw him assaulting a woman in a car in an ATM. They tased James, James twice, causing him to die. No officers charged for the crime killing James. Felix Kumi. Kumi, 61, was an innocent bystander during the sting operation. He was shot by an undercover cop. Undiscovered cop while allegedly standing near a suspect. Nobody charged. Wendell Hall, 50, passenger in a vehicle that was struck by a police car. He was killed immediately. Nobody charged. Ashams Manny. They said they seen him running from a car crash. Officers chased him and shot him, claiming he reached for a gun. A second officer arrived and stunned Manny with a taser. Then a third officer arrived, forcibly restrained him, mainly died soon after. Nobody charged. Excuse me, let me jump real quick. Thirty-one. Christian Taylor, August the 7th, 2015. All is in Texas. Christian entered a car dealership after all hours. He was seen footage jumping on cars and smashing the windows. Six Arlington police arrived and Brad Miller, a rookie cop, fatally shot on uh-uh, Christian. He has since been fired. No charges filed. Troy Robinson. August 8th. Hold on a second. Give me some more. Um, 
Roy Robinson, August 8th. Matter of fact, you know what, though? I'm, I'm going to put this into the chat room, too. I'm going to do that. But, um. All right. Troy Robinson, August 6th. Police say Troy ran from an officer at the traffic stop. Officers tased him. The officers tased him. He fell from an eight foot wall, sustained a fatal injury. Nobody charged. Brian Day in Vegas. After speaking to p- police who were investigating the beating of one of his neighbors, Police claim Dave went into his apartment and returned with a toy gun. Officer shot and killed him um, after he attempted to shoot them with the toy gun. Nobody charged. Michael Sable, Texarkana, Texas. Police sprayed Michael Sable with a chemical agent while in jail, causing him to become unresponsive and die. Nobody charged for killing Michael. Billy Ray Davis in Houston. Died on, oh, hold on, hold on. Michael Sable, let me go back. I, I, ain't, I ain't hit y'all with the date. Brian Day was July 25th. Michael Sable was July 22nd. We have Billy Ray Davis. This is July 20th. Um, Houston, Texas. They claim Davis threatened them. The officer reportedly called for backup, restrained them, and called paramedics. Davis died uh, while being transported to the hospital. Nobody charged. Um, Samuel DeBose. Damn, he looked like one of my men. He looked like somebody that's related to my men who are the boat. But uh, anyway, that was the, this is July 19th, Cincinnati, Ohio. Police initially, police initially said that officer pulled the boats over for a traffic stop routine, which escalated into an altercation that the boats dragged the officer with his vehicle for a distance before the officer fired. That account was later disproven by body camera footage released by Cincinnati prosecutors. Um, the officer has been charged with the murder for killing Samuel. God damn, I read so many without a goddamn charge. All right, man, what the fuck? Even though that don't really mean shit, but damn. Memphis, Tennessee, Darius Stewart, July 17th in Memphis. Um, he was stopped for a book of child light. They say he was placed, he was put in the back of the car, unhandcuffed. Officers ran his name. When they returned, they handcuffed Stewart and take him into custody for warrant. He was combative, struck an officer with the handcuffs. The officer then drew his gun and fired. You know what I'm saying? And killed him. Uh, his mother said the warrant was for somebody with the same name, but not him. We got Albert Davis, July 17th. Same day, Orlando, Florida, Albert Davis. Albert Davis, this is number 38. Albert Davis, 23, was shot and killed by Orlando police officer. Been called, damn, my tongue keeps slipping, by Orlando police officer. But have been called out the reports of a fight in the area involving five men. You know, they came, they deployed tasers, they fired this gun after alleged struggle. Um, despite police saying Davis was very, very violent, the officer did not sustain any injuries. Nobody charged. Sandra Bland, Waller County, Texas. Sandra, 28, pulled over for a routine traffic stop. Um, she was uh, later found dead in her jail cell under dubious circumstances. Trooper Bryant and Encina was charged with perjury for lying about the events leading up to Sanders' event arrest. Salvador Ellswood, Plantation, Florida. July the 12th, Plantation, Florida. Police claim 36-year-old Ellsworth was released from prison less than a month and was homeless, struck an officer and took off a taser before being fatally shot. I'm going to get to 15, then I'm going to hold up. Let the family make any comments they want. Um, nobody was charged in that crime. We got 41, July the 11th, Stonewall, Georgia. Police um, 
floor to a stone mountain hole as a caller said a man was irate and locked in the garage. Officers claimed to negotiate with him before tasering him. And then he became unresponsive and pronounced dead at a hospital. Nobody charged. Jonathan Sanders, July 8th, Stonewall, and I was Stonewall, Georgia, and on the 8th, Stonewall, Mississippi. Jonathan, 39, was in the buggy pulled by horses in Stonewall. They pulled up behind him. The lights appeared. They scared the horses, and Sanders was trying to claim them. When Harrington choked Saunders with a flashlight, nobody charged. Victor LaRusso, the third, July the second, Jacksonville, Florida. He was shot after tripping and falling to the ground while fleeing officers following an undercover sting operation against drug dealers. A law officer alleged that he opened fire because LaRusso reached into his waistband. No weapon recovered. Nobody charged. Kevin Judson, 24, shot and killed by a deputy, following a traffic stop at the Judson, allegedly tried to flee in a deputy patrol car. We got 45, Spencer McCain. This is um, June the 25th, Owen Spring, Maryland. Police responding to a domestic call um, into the condominium. They were arguing outside and fatally shot McCain, claiming he had a gun. McCain, you know, not unarmed, nobody charged with the killing of him. Kevin, I got a Kevin, B-A-J-O-I-E. I'll pronounce that book. B-O-J-O-I-E. Nobody. All right, Kevin uh, Mahoy. All right, police responded to calls of two men fighting. Tase Kevin. Um, he was unarmed after they claimed he tried to attack officers. He died at the hospital. Jamel Crawford, 21, was murdered on June the 20th by in McCullough, Alabama by Lee's police and Jefferson County Sheriff's deputy, ending when his vehicle rammed into a deputy vehicle. He was unarmed. Police tased him, but police have yet to say exactly what killed him. Nobody charged. Jermaine Benjamin, June 16th, Vero Beach, Florida. Deputies responded to a disturbance. For a claim they found Benjamin acting erratic. He was 42. This is Vero Beach, Florida. Um, yeah, um, a deputy subdued him, putting his uh, putting his knee into the back of Benjamin neck and keeping his face pressed into the ground. By the time they turned him back over, he was dead. Nobody charged. Chris Jackson. What the hell? Chris looks like a super mulatto. South Lake Tahoe, California. Domestic disturbance. This time, um, June 15th, scene number 49, 22-year-old man climbed through a window at Lake Tahoe Motel. Um, officers, uh, let me see. Uh, he was shot while he was climbing out a out window. All right, number 50, Alan Craig Williams. I'm going to do 51 since that'll be half. Alan Craig Williams, 613. June 13th, 2015, Greenville, South Carolina. Alan Craig Williams was driving on Point Set Highway when the deputy struck his moped from behind, killing him in the crash. Nobody charged. Number 51, Ross Anthony, Dallas, Texas. Police claim Ross was banging his fist on the hood of the ambulance and got to another person's vehicle when they arrived. Officers claim they attempted to talk to Anthony out of the car, choosing to reach and grab him. And he opened the door when he resisted. So the um, the officer tamed, tased Anthony, which ended up killing him. Nobody charged. Damn, black power. I say, I say, I say.
energy of the family around. But uh, Black Power, what do you do out there tonight, family? How y'all doing out there? Yeah. Black Power, brother Moore. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, brother? Black Chris? Power, brother. Black Power, what's going on, sister? Kyle, how are you tonight? I'm good, brother. I got you on mute. I'm just trying to get it a little quiet in here. But Black Power, I'm listening in. Peace and love to everybody. All right, all right. Peace and love. Yeah, we just wanted to say the names. You know what I'm saying? We want to make sure we say the names and, and just give a little bit of the story, you know, just for the, they had the names and put, you know, put their names out to the atmosphere, you know, get that energy of, of retribution, something that they would want. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody, nobody's murdered. And, and I, I, I couldn't see that, a person getting killed and, 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 and then being an afterlife like, yo, don't do nothing about it. I couldn't see it. So. I'm definitely not. Oh, man. What happened? Oh, all right, all right. Let's start for a second, you feel me? Let's go back. But, um, yeah, anybody want to add on anything, anything that, you know, um, any words, and we'll move right on. I... Propaganda piece is heavy, man, because a lot of these uh, murders, they ain't even never heard of this shit. But yet they put the ones out that they want to use to, to, to move the masses. But the majority of these murders never heard of and nobody charged. So that's warfare right there. Like so slain soldiers. Nobody charged. Everybody, uh, you know, they basically got an explanation for every every murder. Explanation. He was resisting, uh, tasing, and died. People don't understand, man. You, Motherfucker can't take no 150,000 votes, man. The average motherfucker, if, even if you don't die, man, that shit, do, that shit does severe damage to the body. Like, you ain't supposed to be fucking just tasing. Supposed to tase, you know what I mean? That shit for animals, gorillas and shit, man. They don't, that shit ain't built for no fucking uh, African. So when you do that shit, depending on where your adrenaline and shit is at the time, man, that shit is a death sentence in and of itself. You already adrenaline pumping when motherfuckers is beating on you, got you choked up. And then when they hit you with that taser, nigga, that's overload. Your heart just blows. So that's already, they know that. They already know that shit, though. They know when there's so much trauma that you're sustaining and then they tase you, they know that's going to push you over the fucking edge. So that taser is almost just as deadly as them fucking just shooting your ass. You might yeah. rather just take a shot. Yeah, now you're saying that, and that a lot of these are, a lot of these uh, deaths are by taser. That's what I'm saying. That taser, and other, that's a deadly... If you survive a taser, see, they be practicing on them fucking punk-ass little cops and shit. You're in the military and they try to train you. It's different when you get tased and you're calm, and then once you get hit and you're in a, already in a, in a calm state, it's different than when your adrenaline's already flowing, you're already getting whooped on, and you're in a state where you're already in trauma. Then the added, the added pressure of that taser, bro, push your ass, that's it. You get hit with that taser while you already... Blood pressure is high. Your adrenaline's flowing because of the situation where the cop is already fucking kicking your ass. Then they hit you with that taser, nigga. That's that's game over because your body can't sustain that much fucking pressure. That much, you know, all your all your levels is already topped out. So they hit you with that taser, boom. That's it. Heart bust. Hey, y'all, you know, that's 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 you right, and that's fifty one that I just read. Out of all of them, how many, listen, right, out of all of them names, though, and I'm talking to everybody, to the people who heard some of the names, which, how many of them people had y'all heard of? Not many, brother. Right. Not many. Only, one, the only one that stuck out was Sandra Bland. Exactly. That's about it. I was trying to think of it. I thought I came in late though, so I didn't hear the others. I came in around like forty five or forty six. Mr. McKee, are you out there? I see out there but a little I don't know if he had the injustice. 
some black power. I was I had left out for a second. Right. So I ain't missed the missed the list. Well, it's a long it's a long list. It's a long list and we're gonna get through now. We don't went through half the list. The only one that stuck out that I can really remember and recollect is Sandra Bland. And I remember and and I vaguely remember the parents, the two black people who were shot in the car with the child. I vaguely remember that. And, but, but, and, and like you were saying, brother, born where the f- nobody was. Did anybody get charged in that shit? I, everyone I heard you read, nobody charged. Yo, listen for the last. Yo, we we had like um, out of fifty one, I took the counted, but it might have been four people charged. It might have it might have been, but it might have been four people charged. And I'm saying that, but when I go back and look at the initial article. I'll go back and look at the initial article, though. Let me see. Uh, yeah, the initial article got 10 total that were ever charged. So I, like I said, I think I've seen like four charged. So we'll count how many got charged coming up. we keep up with that count. And um, and then we'll, then we'll know how many was in the first 51 that got charged. And then, see, that's the slick shit, too, bro, born. When a motherfucker shoot the taser, okay, they just, like, they already know that shit gonna blow your fucking heart after you already traumatized, but they know you can't, you really can't charge them with shit because they're like, well, we use, we didn't use lethal force. We just used the taser to try to, you know what I mean, sedate the motherfucker, you know, get get the situation under control, but they already knew that taser gonna bust, blow your fucking heart up, dude. They know that, but they know if they use the taser, they can't really be charged with necessarily murder, you know what I mean, or even really get charged with nothing other than, you know what I mean, that really, they can't really charge them with shit. With the taser, if they use a pistol, might be able to hit them with something, but with the taser, it's basically like, like that's non-lethal. It's, they, the way they got it classified, it's like non-lethal and shit, it's like using mace and shit. It's just a it's little like, bit stronger than mace. It's like, yo, we didn't know that his heart couldn't take that. Feel me? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's right. We didn't know. So since we didn't know his heart couldn't take it, then we ain't liable for that. You know what I mean? That's like that's like that pepper spray and shit. They use that to kill your ass with it. Some of them chemicals. So because the, one of the brothers they sprayed with some chemicals they say, and that's that motherfucking heavy pepper spray. People can't take that shit, man. They spray that shit down your fucking throat, man. Your motherfucking lungs. Your lungs get filled with that shit, man. You be dying out, man. I had some old bullshit pepper spray. Sprayed it in my pocket by accident in a class. Cleared the class out. With one, <laughs> cleared the motherfucking class, huh? So imagine getting hit with that police, that police grade. It's taking and then, no doubt. And then when you really, if you really analyze each of these fucking incidents, did they even really need to use the fucking taser? Like, was the dude handcuffed already? Was the motherfucker already subdued? Did you even need to tase him? You know, some of them, you know, it's a lot of allegedly this, allegedly that. You know what I mean? When you're dealing with this, there's a lot of alleged. A lot of alleged. But um, we can go to number 52. Richard Gregory Davis. This is uh, May 31st. Rochester, New York, Davis drove uh, drove into a truck in a church before leaving his vehicle. The uh, police and firefighters confronted him. Um, Davis, who returned to his vehicle and locked himself inside, he then left his vehicle. Then he then left his vehicle, ran at the responders. Then he shot him with a stun gun, causing him to die soon afterwards. Come on, nigga, another one. Stun gun. Marcus Clark, oh, no charges found. Marcus Clark, May 21st, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Deputies called for a robbery at an ex-sign. When they arrived, deputies found Clark struggling with one of the clerk. Deputies fought Clark. Clark was brought to the hospital before he, before he died. Nobody charged. 
Lorenzo Hayes, Spokane, Washington. While en route to jail, police say Lorenzo began kicking on the back of the patrol car. Jail staff took him into the booking area while he was handcuffed. Lorenzo died soon afterwards while jail staff prepared to place him in a restraint chair. What? Hold up. Hold up. Jail staff took him into the booking area while he was handcuffed. Lorenzo died soon afterwards while jail staff prepared or prepared to place him in a restraint chair. What? The? I don't know. That's, that's, that's weird wording. Like he did it to himself and shit. Yeah, that's weird wording. Number 55, D'Angelo Stallworth. May 12th, Jacksonville, Florida. Two Jacksonville police officers. Uh, um, officers shot him as he was, oh, hold on. D'Angelo Stallworth, two Jacksonville police officers fatally shot Stallworth at a west side apartment complex. Stallworth allegedly pointed a gun at an officer, then dropped the gun and ran away. Officers shot him as he was running unarmed, claiming they thought he still had a gun, and he turned and faced him. Nobody charged with killing D'Angelo. DeJuan Graham, Silver, Silver Spring, Maryland, same day, May 12th. Police responded to a disturbance, called about a man on the street acting erratic. Police approached Graham. They claimed he continued to stand in the middle of the street with his hands in his pockets, he asked Graham to move his hands four times. He refused to comply. Assuming a threatening stance, police tased Graham in the stomach and right upper thigh, then arrested him. After Graham arrived at the hospital, police removed his handcuff and once again restrained him after he allegedly assaulted the officer and security guard. Graham died a few days later. Brandon Glenn from... Los Angeles. This was May the 6th. Glenn was allegedly panhandling outside a bar in Venice. Customers complained he was harassing people. He wound up in a scuffle with a bouncer and two, two officers. One shot and killed him. After reviewing unreleased tape of the incident, L.A. police chief said any time an unarmed person is shot by police officers, it takes extraordinary circumstances to justify that. I have not seen no extraordinary circumstances. No officers were charged, though, even though the chief said that. Reginald Moore, he was he was murdered on the same day, May 6th, Greenville, Mississippi. Um, the police sergeant, Convania Moore, shot, killed her husband, Reginald Moore. They, were, they just came home from a birthday party. Uh, Moore was charged with murder for killing Reginald. Now you know them some black people. Now this, all right, there's two cops killed their spouse. Only one of that's the that's one that I seen charged. I think two of them was charged though. But um, Bridgeville Park, New Jersey. Nana LaRoche. Police officers engaged in a high-speed pursuit, crashed and killed two pedestrians, Jason and Nana. Jason Champion from Bridgefield Park, New Jersey. He was killed along with Nana. Police uh, ran into him while chasing somebody else. Nobody been charged for neither one of their murders. Brian Overstreet, 30 was run over by, hold up, Brian Overstreet. Did I get a date Yeah. Hold up, all of them was on the same day? Yeah, all of them was on the same day, May 6th. Jason Champion, Nana LaRoche, Reginald Moore, and Brandon Glenn. All right. Yeah, April in here. April 28th. Number 61, Brian Overstreet, Sylvester, Georgia, 30-year-old 
Ryan was run over by a Worth County deputy in the middle of the street. Nobody charged. Terrence Kellum, 52, April 27th, Detroit, Michigan. Fugitive Task Force, force involving ICE and officers with the Detroit Police Department was attempted to serve a warrant at the home. Kellum was shot and killed after an officer felt threatened. Nobody charged. David Feely. This is April 25th. David, who was schizophrenic, living in a home for the mentally ill, was said to have involved them in a struggle in which officers shot him to death. LaShonda Ruth Belt, West End, North Carolina. Police chased a 25-year-old suspect as he fled a traffic stop, causing him to lose control of his car, crash into a tree, killing passengers, LaShonda Belt in Georgia, and Gregory Dequan Harris. All right, Gregory Dequan Harris, same day. Uh, number 65, West End, North Carolina. Nobody was charged in that. No officers anyway. Terry Lee, Terry Lee Chat, Chapman, April 23rd, Houston, Texas. He was struck by a police vehicle while on a bike, had a southbound on MLK. The impact killed Chapman. Nobody charged for killing Terry. William Chapman. Now, that's Chapman, C-H-T, man. Now we got William Chapman, C-H-P, man, uh, C-H-A-P. And that's Portsmouth, Virginia. Walmart security called police about a shoplifter. They found um, William in the parking lot. Stephen Rankin pulled out his taser and claimed the taser got knocked out of his hand during the tussle. The policeman pulled out his gun and claimed William took his shirt as though he was ready to fight. Took off his shirt as though he was ready to fight. The officer opened fire. Officer Stephen Rankin was charged with murder for killing William. Samuel Harrell, Beacon, New York. Samuel was involved with a confrontation with correctional officers at Fishkill Correctional Facility, during which of the 20 officers Beat him down, um, handcuffed, beat him while he was handcuffed. Um, the Orange County Medical Examiner ruled Harris' death for a physical altercation with the corrections officer. Nobody was charged with killing him. All right, we got 69, Freddie Gray. Freddie Gray did, died from injuries sustained during a prolonged ride in a police van while handcuffed and shackled. Six officers have been charged with crimes, including murder for Freddie Gary, for killing Freddie. Norman Coop, oh shit, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. All right, Samuel was April 21st, Freddie Gray, April 19th, Norman Cooper, April 19th, San Antonio, Texas. Cox uh, came for a domestic, for family disturbance. Uh, they say he was under influence, under some type of narcotics, was uncooperative. They say, um, they tased him. He pulled the probes out. Um, with one taser, the second taser was fired at him, and then he was unpro- unresponsive and pronounced dead at the scene. Brian Action, Action, Columbia, T- Tennessee, April 18th. He was reportedly naked, drunk, and trying to assault somebody. Police captured him, subdued him, handcuffed him. He stopped breathing shortly thereafter. Nobody charged. That was number 71. Darrell Brown, April 17th. Hagerstown, Maryland. Police responded to a call of a man attempted to break into a house. They said Darrell had an aggressive stance towards him. They tased him an unknown amount of times. He was unresponsive, put in the ambulance, died at the hospital the next morning. Nobody charged. Frank Shepard, Houston, Texas, April 15th. They tried to do a traffic stop due to suspicious activity. Frank got out the video, then appeared to reach back into the, to the vehicle. Two officers fired on him and killed him. No weapons found in the vehicle. Nobody charged. Walter Scott, April 4th. Scott was pulled 
pulled over by North Johnson Police. Michael Slager. Officer Slager was charged. We know that. And he said Tay was a attempted to deploy his taser. Hold on. They, he opened fire. He was uh, he was charged because it was caught on camera. Donald Dante Ivy, April second, Albany, New York. Also, first question: Ivy, a paranoid schizophrenic with a heart condition. He fled down Second Street. People, they also was chased him, shooting him with a taser at least once. The taser fell into doom. When they chased him, handcuffs. Whom they chased in handcuffs. If you stop breathing, officer attempted to CPR. Um, nobody charged. Eric Harris. Harris fled and arrested after he stole a gun to undercover officers. He was caught and shot by a 73 year old part time reserve deputy. Said he intended to use the taser. Deputy Bates was charged and convicted of manslaughter. Philip Wade, this is going to a new month. This is March 31st, number 77, Vinland, New Jersey. White became unconscious as police attempted to take him into custody after the report that he was screaming. Officer led White tried to grab a gun. Video shows White clearly dazed, landing on the ground as the officer strike him in orders a police dog to attack. The hacker group anonymous threatened the Vinland police over it. No officers charged with the crime for killing Philip. Number 78, Dominique Wise, March 30th. Officer saw Dominique acting erratically, walking in circles. They chased him, tased him, an undetermined amount of times, killing him. Nobody charged with a crime for killing Dominic. Sears, California, Moreland. Sears, California, Jason Moreland. March 29th. Off duty officer and a woman was in a park at night. Moreland approached, approached him. Moreland had a BB gun. Cop shot him. Nobody charged. Nicholas Thomas, March 24th, Atlanta, Georgia. Nicholas, a mechanic, was at his job when police called the boss, told him he was going to serve a warrant on a suspect. When police arrived, Nicholas started driving the car he was working on around the business. Police opened fire and killed him. Nobody charged. Denzel Brown, Bayshore, New York. Denzel, 21. Respect to the shoplifting. Police responded and found him hiding in the parking lot. Police claimed he tried to steal a car from a couple with children in the back seat. Also, was shot and killed him. Nobody charged. Brandon Jones, March 19th, number 82, Cleveland, Ohio. Officers say they was responding to a robbery. At Parkwood Grocery. Um, officers say they had a scuffle with him who had a bag and they shot him to death. No weapons found. Nothing about charges, though, either. Um, Scarry Roberts, number 83. March 17th, Rome, Georgia. Roberts was 35. Paranoid, he was showing signs of paranoia. And thought a gang was coming to kill him. He was, uh, he was crying with his hands away from his son. Police arrived and tased him two or three times until he came Unresponsive. He died at the hospital. Nobody charged. Here's Moxley, March 10th. 
Mansfield, Ohio. He was displaying uh, violent behavior. Is what the police say. Damn. Hold up. Uh, I even hit this in the story. I don't want to read that. Um, they tased him. He broke free. They tased him again. He went to medical distress. And he died. Nobody charged. Anthony Hill. Georgia, Chamberlain, Georgia, March 9th. Police responded to complaints by a naked man knocking on doors. The WC Hill ran at him uh, several times and ignored the man to stop. So I guess he shot him. 86, Bernard Moore. Three, uh, March 6, 2015. Um, Atlanta, Georgia. Moore was caught on the highway. He was struck by a police car. Mr. Lisa Benzani. Aurora, Colorado. Officers saying, Spencer was wanted for violating the parole, violating parole. SWAT team officer attempted to arrest him and ended up shooting him to death, claiming um, let me see, let me read that again. Not to listen to that. That's March 6, 2015. Officers say Vincent was was wanted for violating parole. A SWAT team officer attempted to arrest him and ended up shooting him to death. Claimed he didn't realize the sisterless was unarmed. Mm-mm-mm. Number 88, Tony Robinson. March 6th, Madison, Wisconsin. You know, police claimed he attacked an officer who responded to calls for help. You know, responded to calls for help for friends and nearby residents over his erratic, erratic and aggressive behavior. Officers shot him every time. Robinson's family filed a federal lawsuit against the officer. No charges filed. Hmm. Number 89. March 1st. Los Angeles. All right. Five police officers are seen on video surrounding. Hold up, hold on, hold on. Let me get this. Let me, I need to say the brother's name. Charlie Leandu Africa Kanan. Five police officers are seen on video surrounding Africa on the ground. Less than well. Whether or not. He actually read four officers gun is unclear, but there are at least five gunshots heard on, on the video. Come on, man. Let's mess him up right now. Excuse me. Right now, let me see. I'm trying to trying to find this. Get back to the article. Right, it lost my thing. Lost out from me. Blanked out from me for a second. Excuse me, family. All right, I'm back to it. We got him. Uh, number 89. Charlie Lindu, Africa, Kanan. And like I said, that was March 1st. Los Angeles, California. Five officers was uh, surrounding them on video. 
He busted him to the ground. Uh, they say he reached for a gun, but there was at least five gunshots heard on the video. Nobody charged. Number 90, Darrell Gatewood, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. This is the same day, March 1st. Police responded to a disturbance call. Uh, they said he was breaking things, fighting with the air. When they arrived on the scene, uh, they said he started fighting them. They tased Darrell an unknown number amount of times. He died from the, uh, cardiac arrest. Nobody charged. Deontay Dorsey, White Plains, Maryland. Deontay Dorsey lost control of his car, coming to rest against a tree in a meeting. Witnesses called 911 saying Dorsey was flopping like a fish. After Dorsey, who was having a seizure, rolled on his stomach and reached for a firefighter's leg, police ordered him to put his hands on his back. When Dorsey failed to comply and tried to stand up, they tasered him in the back several times. Dorsey was later handcuffed and uh, at the scene and stopped moving or breathing. No, Nobody charged. Thomas Allen, Jr., Wellston, Missouri. Officer pulled over a vehicle driving driven by Thomas for traffic violation. Um, while crushing Thomas, the passenger got into the car and attempted to drive away. The officer fatally shot Thomas, who died in the hospital the next day. No officers have been charged for the crime. 93, Calvin Reed, February 22nd. Coconut Creek, Florida. Police said they found Reed injured and in an agitated state in a gated retirement community. He was tasered three times when the cardiac arrest, uh, Coconut Bay Police Chief promptly retired. Medical examiners ruled his death a homicide, but nobody was charged with the crime. 94, Terry Price, February 20th, Tulsa, Oklahoma. They responded to a call from casino security. Um, when they got to the, uh, they was called to, uh, to a casino by security because someone was supposed to be there. When they got there, they said he ran, then he came back, then he ran to the woods, they tasered him, he collapsed and died. Nobody charged. Natasha McKenna, Fairfax, Virginia. Police used a stun gun on McKenna, who had schizophrenia, claiming she refused to comply and physically resisted them as they prepared her to transport to Alexandria to face charges here. The sheriff's office said no bodies been charged. Well, boy, you done said that a lot of times, man. <laughs> like how to the family, man, but you like said that nobody did charge like a lot of times, man. And yeah. that made me think and see, you know, goddamn, I mean, shit, ain't nobody finna be charged in this shit in these last two main that's been made to match my news. Yeah. So what niggas gonna do then? It's gonna be the same old shit, so what, what's gonna happen then? Yeah, brother, tell me I got seven more, and then we get it in. I got seven more. My bad, brother. Black power, man. You was depressed. Oh, no, 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 no and doubt. I'm like, goddamn. You feel I got, me? I got seven more. That's the end of our list. We're going to be done with it. But um, we got nine, number 96, Jeremy Lack, Tallahassee, Florida. Officers responded to a burglary call at an apartment complex entered, encountered Lack, and, and the two entered physical confrontation. They claimed they had tried to taser, but the rain, but in the rain, he only shocked himself. The officer claimed Lack had the officer pinned to the ground when the officer shot and killed him. Nobody charged. Alvin Haynes, San Bruno, California. An inmate died after deputies attempted to search him in San Francisco. Deputies claim he had an envelope in his hand that the deputy was trying to examine. Confrontation to no charges found. Tiano met in Sierra Bianca. Martin drove to a West Texas checkpoint without stopping. Drove 30 more miles before he stopped. Four agents approached the vehicle. One of them yelled, gun. Two of the agents fired their weapons at the vehicle. A toy gun was found in Mountain's vehicle. Nobody charged. Andrew Lerone Murphy. Oh, shit. I ain't even getting out of dates on that. All right. Jeremy was February 4th. Alvin Haynes, J. 
January 26th. Keanu Mountain, January 22nd. And Andre LaRon Murphy Sr., January 7th. Responded to a disturbance call at Super 8. They struggled with him. They used a taser. Murphy died at the Regional Health Service in Norfolk later on. That's Norfolk, New England. N.E. What motherfucker? That's Nebraska? What fucking state is N.E.? Y'all know I'm fucked up. I don't give a fuck about no goddamn America. I don't know the abbreviations for this bitch. (laughs) Brother born New England. That's New England, right? But N.E.? Yeah, but New England is all of this. Ain't no single state New England, no. Ain't no single state New England. That's all of this shit. That's like Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont. I think, I think E and E is Nebraska. Nebraska. Okay. All right, Nebraska. That's what I'm saying, Nebraska. All right, that's what i got to be. Norfolk, Nebraska. An officer responded um, to to that disturbance though in Norfolk, Nebraska, um, killed Andre LeBron with a taser. Nobody charged. All right, we had number 100, Brian Pickett, January 6th. Pickett's mother called the police to report he was under influence and threatening. Police arrived, Pickett allegedly charged at him. He was tased, he stopped breathing. Paramedics arrived and was now dead at the hospital. Nobody charged. Leslie shot Knoxville, Pennsylvania. Marshals went to serve a warrant on Leslie. They shot and killed Leslie, claiming he pointed a gun at him. No charges found. Matthew Ahibade, Savannah, Georgia. Oh, Ahibade, oh, body. Girlfriend called 911 and asked police to take him to the hospital. Because he was having a manic episode. Instead, they arrested him, took him to the Chatham County Detention Center. The sheriff's officer claimed that he fought officers, so they put him in a restraining chair. He died in a restraining chair. Deputy Kenny was convicted of cruelty to an inmate. Deputy Evans was convicted of public records fraud, three counts of perjury for killing Matthew. Um, Deputy Kenny was sentenced to one year to be served only on weekends and three years probation. But Deputy Evans was sentenced to six years probation. And that's the list. I say, I say, I say, I say. Well, family, that's the list. And brother, um, out of 102, only 10 people was charged. Only two convicted to do some type of time. So, you know, um, a lot of tasers, man, you better, you might be better off getting shot. You got them tasers, it seems like it's the killer. Well, Black Power, what the family guys just chop it up with? If I got anything to add on, like I said, you know, tonight we just giving the, uh, the honors to our fallen comrades. Well, boy, give me a second, man. I got to run outside, and I'll be right back, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. I, I know it's family on the line. I see y'all out there. I, you know. Uh, I turned in. Uh, this is the committee. I tuned in late to the show, but, you know, I just want to say uh, black power to those family members who were murdered. Um, they're a testament to the fact that our enslavement has never ended, and that retribution is what is owed and their name, and countless others. Black power. Definitely black power tonight. Yes, indeed. You know, it's just, um, I don't know, uh, you know, this is, reading all them names and just reading all them stories, that just, just, and just reading all that night, nobody, 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 nobody charged, nobody charged. No officer, nobody charged. No matter what the circumstances was, nobody charged. You only got ten charged, and these, and, and 
It got to be gross, total gross negligence with a lot of witnesses that they end up getting charged somehow. But I, I'm just right now. I'm a little, I'm a little lost for words after, after just speaking all their names. Uh, it's just I'm kind of hurt right now. Well, I'm going to listen back to it because that's what we need to hear. Yeah. We need to hear all them names like that every time, you know, so the shit really sink in with what's going on here, what's been going on. It's, this is nothing new. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's sad to say, but it's really not. But it is if you're not aware. You know what I mean? It's like it's a phenomenon. Like what? Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, because if you go by the news, now in that last half you had a couple more people who was in the news, but when you just listen to the name, how many people had you heard about in the news? Walter Scott, you know what I'm saying? Sandra Bland, who else? Who else? Who else do y'all know? Well, not, not, not last year, though. No. Oh, not last year. That's what I'm saying. That was 102 from last year. We only want to go two years back. We only want to go two years back. You know what I'm saying? That's last, that's last year alone. That's just wow. That really is wow. It is. I'm telling you, uh, oh, man, that, that is, you know, it just make me, you know, it just make me know more and more what I got to, what to tell these children, man. Tell our youth out here, man. It's just like, listen, man, we, look, look, nobody, look, nothing. Look at this. Nothing wants to be murdered out here. Nobody. Bad eye, not even a news story, not even an article, man. You can get killed, don't get an article. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just watch yourself. You can be killed, don't get an article, man. You know these people getting articles. That 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 ain't no common. That's not common right now. Not common because as Brother Griff said earlier, you know, he came chimed in with the fact that that the mannerism that we get anything through media is only through propaganda. You know what I'm saying? So it's always called into question why do we know about this story? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's 102 people. They was murdered in. Towns where people live at. People in their town don't even know they was murdered. You understand? Like, what the? Is it? Is it the camera phone? The only reason that we hear about this stuff is it the camera phone that do it? No, it can't be that because several times I read where. The, the guy footed. So, you know, they got footage. And we've seen footage before. We've seen the footage in the Sandra Bland case. I was the officer's footage. So it, is, it ain't like uh, officer's footage is made unavailable. You just can't get the officer's footage. So, you know, we just got to ask ourselves, you know, always put the question in because it's always, uh, you have to always have that doubt when dealing with media. I'm just really fucked up right now. But it just put a different, it put a fire up under me just, you know, I'm glad we had this. Because it put a, put a, a fire up under me, you know, world like. You better go on down to uh, see uh, no way to get killed. I'm going to say that again, Chief, it's kind of distorted. 
I said I don't see no other way that they couldn't, man. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Dude, uh, something wrong if it ain't making you feel some kind of way. You feel me? And that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what boggles my motherfucking mind that niggas can't just grasp the fact that a nigga can get so sick of being goddamn oppressed that he'll lash out and oppress him, my nigga. You feel me? Listen to what you just read. This is crazy, man. You feel me? That if a motherfucker do last out, he will be the one that looks like he's crazy after listening to that shit. Yeah. You just read off about 80. I didn't even know what the hell you was reading, brother boy. Until I just kept hearing, uh, no charges and no charges. God, what the fuck this nigga reading? God damn. Yeah. Just go read that list. That should tell you why niggas pissed around this motherfucker. That shit sad than a bitch, bro. Mm hmm. We supposed to take that we supposed to take that shit with a smile, my nigga. These hoes have got us to the point, man. Where if you got them, don't do nothing but smile after hearing that shit, then your ass is crazy, my nigga. That's how these hoes got up, bro. That's bullshit, my nigga. Mm -hmm. You told me, right? If you don't take it with a smile, you the problem. You the problem. It's a problem with you, nigga, that you don't like what's going on. Yeah, bro, boy, when you peeped it, you said it was a couple of young brothers that the police was in a pursuit, and they ran over some pedestrians, some African pedestrians, bro. Now, if that was, if if the shit was even halfway decent, which it it ain't, they would have had to take them officers and get them officers tested to see if they was under the influence of anything, but none of that shit even took place. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers was just, you know, they should have been looking, hearing the lights or whatever the fuck. But the officers that ran them boys over should have had got tested to see if they was under the influence. Like, how the fuck you just run some motherfuckers over, even in pursuit, even in the fucking high-speed chase? That's why they tell them after so far, you're supposed to back off. It's, it's supposed to be a protocol after so many miles or whatever, the motherfuckers are supposed to fall back. So that they don't fucking run over motherfuckers and innocent people don't get fucking hurt. So I, I wonder uh, who were the people that got ran over because it, see it shows a disregard for life. Now, yeah. if I, if it was a district where it was millionaires and all of them walking, I don't know if they would have behaved in that fashion. You know. You already know, sis. They wouldn't even been, they, they, they wouldn't even done it like that. I'd have seen them come through the black community, bro. They come through there like some motherfucking cowboys and shit. It's like wild cowboys and shit. Driving all up on the grass and all types of crazy shit. I don't know how they do it where some of y'all from over here. They come through the hood like niggas fuck it. A total disregard. Total. And the real thing is, like, what I'm seeing, man, this shit comes from the top down, man. These motherfuckers already get the motherfucker protocol when they leave the station. When you go into the black community, you know what I'm saying? You got to watch your back. You know the gang. The gang element is heavy. Drugs is heavy. Watch yourself. Man, in. it's like <clears throat> I don't mean to cut your wisdom, brother uh Griff, man. Yeah. But it reminds me of goddamn the 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 uh <clears throat> the African been by the shit. How could that shit be going on so long? Because it's an environment for the shit to thrive, my nigga. You feel me? So just 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 building up what you were saying. It coming from the top by from the top to the bottom, man. They letting this shit happen, my nigga. Okay. They all right with it happening, my nigga. We know it. You feel me? The environment is set for the shit to go down. Shay. So we, we can say.
say that this is state approved. You know, this is government approved. I say. And then what's happening to the bodies of these youngsters or even our people's period, where the organs and shit going? That's why a lot of these motherfuckers you're not even hearing about. Because they harvesting on these, they harvesting the organs on our on our peoples in the whole. It's a whole systematic process when the young cat when they get killed when they get took to the hospital, or some of them might even be halfway coherent, and then they get in the hospital, they just drop some shit in their little IV, boom, dead, got him. All right, get the heart, get the kidneys, we'll get what we need. We'll just say to detain him to death. Man, another thing, man, when bro, I thought about when Brother Vaughn reading the list, man, is, is I had seen this post about uh, after everything that happened this last week, you know, some church done, uh, let the police come and have a little, like, I guess a meeting with the neighborhood or some shit in the church or whatever, right? And, and what it was was to talk about what, how you should act if you were pulled over. You know what I'm saying? And after reading, after hearing that motherfucking list, Brother Bourne just put out, I'm starting to think that's a useless-ass conversation, my nigga. Ain't nothing you can do. But hope, my Hope this motherfucker don't shoot your motherfucking ass up. This nigga just talked about niggas having seizures. What the fuck is that, my nigga? Kill a nigga having a seizure, my nigga? The fuck out of here, man. I, and then when you peep it, though, or, uh, Brother Tim, Brother Bourne dropped a jewel the other day. He said, what was that law you said, Brother Bourne? The slow, the the slow ca- kill casual law? killing that. Hell yeah. That sums it all up right there. I say. As far, as far as the systematic process of doing that shit, like he said, I told him, we told him to put his hands up. He didn't comply. Looked like he reached for something. We shot him. That was for the brother having a seizure. Talking about he didn't comply when they asked him to put his hands up several times. He don't comply, my nigga. What the fuck? Exactly. They like, we gave him orders. We gave him direct orders. It's a complete disregard for life, my nigga. And how the fuck do you change that? You don't. There's no way to change that, my nigga. Shit, butt goddamn bang on them hoes. That's it. That's the only way to change that shit. They've been doing this shit. It, it, it has not stopped. And that's why studying the history is, is a beautiful thing in that regard. And I get what Malcolm was saying, where it's, you know, um, history's best qualified to reward all research. And I heard Dr. Clark say that as well, because it's true. Because then this is not a phenomenon as I think Brother Tim uh, dropped out there earlier. You know how um, not knowing the history, you would you will see it as a phenomenon, that type of thing, and that's real because it is continuous, which means they're not going to change. Then this is who they are, okay? And they will dress it up and make you think you are guilty for them murdering you for no reason. That you did something wrong. You're just existing. I say, a violation. I say, man. And they would say it with a straight face. They would say it while hugging you. All right? Yeah. And then it's on point. And you don't want to get caught up on these little lackey-ass cops, man. These motherfuckers is the bottom of the total pole, man. This shit, like I said, this shit coming from the top down, man. Because if motherfuckers wanted to stop the shit, they could just put out where motherfuckers was doing time. If they if something like that happened, that shit wouldn't even be happening. But they... It's a whole operation from the hospitals to the, to the motherfucking uh, prison system. I mean, it's, it's, it's a well-oiled machine, man. And I, they said, the only thing going to stop this shit is black resistance. That's it. So if the community ain't going to come together, when these yahoos come in here trying to kick in doors with all that bullshit and niggas ain't busting off, you setting yourself up. So you got to lock arms with your comrades in your community and your niggas got to oil up the heat. And when motherfuckers come in from the community, from outside the community, without checking with the elders, without getting with the head honchos uh, 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 of the groups who running that shit, the security cats, nigga, you don't come in here unannounced. 
You want somebody out of our community, you come see us. You know what I'm saying? If we feel like y'all got a valid complaint, we'll talk to your top leaders. Other than that, nigga, don't come in here because we airing shit out. I hear you on that, but see, I, I would take it one step further. They have no right to uh, judge me by their made-up man laws. They're violated on every last one of them. You know, that it was legal in this country to treat us less than animals, and they did just that, okay, for hundreds of fucking years. They have no right to judge us in any fashion. If we got a problem with, with, with some one of our behaviors, if the behavior is European and it's problematic, we deal with that. You know, that, that's what being an adult is. That's what being um, uh, being free, for lack of a better word, I hate to use that right now, but that's all I can grasp at this second, is about, you know, where you and your, your people determine your, your movement, your right to liberty and happiness. I mean, at the end of the day, nobody's supposed to have uh, uh, any uh, say over that. So if you're in a community of people with that kind of understanding and that nature, you can thrive, okay? Yeah, you so Camille, what you're talking about is culture. Yeah. I mean, you talk about culture. That's all, That's it. I say. Yeah. So fuck them. I, they, we couldn't even negotiate. They can come to me and say such and such did such and such, so turn them over. Who are you? The child of rapists? The criminal of all criminals? You're a criminal right now talking to me. I don't uh, even have to know your crimes, and I know for a fact you done committed some. Because that's your nature. That's what history has taught me. So I don't care what your words say. Because I know what you've done here. I say, black power. That's why I said we look at this shit ourselves. If we don't feel like what you're talking is some bullshit, we ain't even about to comply with you. But the bottom line, like you said, is we want to control our own community. That's a lot of, uh, it's easy to say, but, you know what I'm saying, niggas got to really get themselves organized and unified. But it ain't really hard to do. I think I think what the Queen said, though, man, that's the main reason why the, our, the red, black, and green, man, is such a threat to these hoes, man. You feel me? It, it, it's because, man, what we talking about, man. We go like Brother Mickey, I say, we basing this shit off strictly history, man. You feel me? Ain't no motherfucking uh, fake shit going on. Dude. Nigga, we basing this shit off of, off of history. Shit, the history shows that you hoes is the motherfucking devils, nigga. So that shows that, nigga, our movement is, is uh, based to goddamn me get the devil out the way. And that's goddamn, that's, that's putting it on another level than any other kind of movement, any Black Lives Matter talking about just reform this, reform. No, no, my nigga. We're going off history, and from history tells us that you motherfuckers have been a goddamn me, a, a fuck up to this world, man. That's a fact. Word. Black power. Black power, man. No negotiating that. Um, you know, I, I'm. This is my opinion. This don't. This ain't no gospel. This is my opinion. You know, my opinion is I cannot negotiate with the devil. You know what I'm saying, there's nothing that you say, say that I can believe. I say. Even when you're telling the truth, I must conceive it as a lie. That's why I got to, I, I got to, right now, I feel sad where he stood at when he said, I ain't debating no motherfucking crap. Because I see how these hoes will talk your ass in a motherfucking circle, man. Just to got, and in the end, you know what I'm saying? In the end, there's no way to win as far as making them understand what you're talking about. Because they not, they can't take it there. They can't go there in, in they in they mind of actually feeling somebody being treated on an equal level. 
So since they can't go there, man, the debate is useless. All they getting on TV, talking to them whole that shit is a waste of time, man. You wasting time sitting here trying to make this cracker understand why you feel like you do for us. Shit. Not unless you're exposing the cracker. Because well, of, I know I enjoy right. what Dr. Right. Khalid Muhammad did and what Dr. Ben did to the rabbi on TV. It was a thing of beauty. I say, I say, Queen, you're right about that. But one more you are thing on I that, is, you know, if, you, if you're really real about the shit, you know, like how they gave it up for us. Not to I say you. And, and I believe that that was needed. You feel me? I believe that that was needed. But but when we see how when we see how people go up trying to debate, because now it's not on that same. It's not coming like that. You feel what I'm saying? It's more, to, it's more trying to make them understand the shit. Fuck them, oh, then they understand it, nigga. Fuck them, and they understand it. I ain't got no understanding. Nigga, I don't give a fuck if they feel like what I'm saying is hypocritical. I don't give a fuck. Everything y'all hoes do is hypocritical. So let me be a hypocrite a couple of times. I don't give a goddamn. I'm going to say nigga, and you bet not motherfucking say it. I'm going to slap you in the mouth. You feel okay. me? That's, 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 that's black power. A nigga, a nigga got to take a different attitude with the motherfucker. That's how men act. I ain't got to explain shit to your bitch ass. Well, that's black power. That's how a man behaves. And see, that's what Dr. how Dr. Ben carried himself <laughs> in that debate with the crack of um, beast rabbi and shit. You know what I mean? He checked him hard. He even let him know, you know, you don't tell me when I talk. I'm a man, you know, I'll, I'll talk when I'm ready to talk. You know what I'm saying? The the thing that, what was necessary about them debates, and I don't even want to call them a debate because it was that much of a beatdown, was that they were being exposed. This is an opportunity for our, for me, for example, to see this on YouTube and see how Dr. Ben and how, Dr. Khalid Muhammad exposed them in front of our people who were there personally. You know, I mean, you know, they're alive and shit or whatever. You know, and for those who now see it on YouTube, that shit Very is powerful. powerful. You know, because you got to see the lies that you was taught being chopped up by a representative of that. Via their tool of manipulation called the media. They didn't right. expect that to happen. But like even like down here, I, they 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 show on TV uh, in Houston. They show uh, what's his name, uh, Cornell Lynch, every week on the TV debating the white boy, right? Cornell now, West. This is just, Cornell's Cornell Lynch. Quanell Lynch, Quanell Lynch. Uh, oh, I know you talking you. about dark skin brother. Yeah, he, yeah, he be on TV every week debating with the crapper. You know what I'm saying, right? And I mean, sometimes I just have to ask, like, what is this goddamn me, goddamn me doing, man? This shit ain't proof. This shit ain't. It ain't accomplishing shit. You feel me? It's not that same. It, it, like what I, I see, what you said on the Dr. Bed. And 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 the Khalid, though, you know, we can go back there. We can see those; those is greatly needed. You know what I'm saying? But but when I see it, when I see it with this show, it's like, nigga, why you explaining that shit to that nigga? Fuck that nigga. Shit, why you trying to sit here and explain shit to this nigga? So you see, you see behaviors that we like not like Dr. Like Khalid Muhammad. It's it's a different. Uh, it's more of an explaining than a than a nigga. You Bump. feel me? Fuck it, nigga. This how it is, nigga. Fuck what you feel about it. Right. So then what would that say about that brother? Man. Hello? Be your show's a weakness. Black I'm power. It'll say so integrity. It shows the so Motherfucking weakness. integrity. Playing yourself, my nigga. And, and so that's what has to be dealt with. I know? say, brother, little black power, man. Black Power King, that has to be dealt with. We can't allow uh, people like that, brothers like that, or sisters like that, to then um, wrap themselves in the light of being brothers and sisters who would not do such things, who would not disrespect them themselves and their people in such a fashion, who would hold the line, as I think I heard somebody say, I don't know, maybe not. 
wishful thinking. Yeah, because, I mean, we got to ask out there, man, that, like when we when we do them kind of interviews and shit like that, that we got to ask, man, that, is this shit helping us? Uh, God, that, it, I mean, for the overall picture, man, you feel me? If that shit ain't doing nothing to help, man, and this shit, that nigga don't need to know. Yeah, leave him out your business. Well, you know, that's why I, I'm Brother Tim. I'm completely against interviews. Now, to each his own. You with it? I ain't mad at you know. I don't know if I, I'm, I ain't I'm, mad I'm at for, you. I'm, I, I can agree with I, interviews under this circumstance, right? This is one thing I felt with the nation, man. The nation would not put nobody in front of a camera unless the motherfucker had been politically educated on what you can't goddamn represent us. You ain't goddamn you you go get out there in front of the camera and make us look foolish, my nigga. You feel me? You can't that's one thing I, I, I have to agree with the nigga on Black Panthers was the same way. You had to you had to go politically educated before you get your ass in front of a camera and make us look goddamn foolish, my nigga. And that's why I feel like a lot of these motherfuckers saying. ain't be doing, my nigga. They get up I hear what you're saying, put... but we done did that. I'm past that. It. You know what I'm saying? I um, say, but I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying I, if you are going to do that. I'm saying if you I are. You, if you, if you are, are going to do that. You feel me? I feel you what you're saying if somebody is going to do that. But I, I think we need to get to a point in our thinking where we ain't we ain't in front of their cameras. I say you know that 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 sovereignty queen. I say that's what sovereignty. Yeah, that's what when mean, you're a you sovereign mean. nation, you get to do what the fuck you want to do. You know, yo. And can't nobody interfere with shit. See, that's the ultimate power that we should have already been on the path to motherfucking getting. You understand? And again, mm-hmm. you ain't doing nothing without no motherfucking military. Black power. But Black Power though, family, you know, I heard the little, I heard the shit, man. Hey, man, it's just sovereignty, family. That's what that, that's what the whole shit's about. You can call your shots, you can make your laws, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do, and everybody gotta respect your name. And brother, little, that you know, in my opinion, my humble opinion, that's something you gotta take. That's not something you ask for. So I, you, you know, you know, I give you that, my that, that ain't That ain't your humble opinion, Queen. That's facts. Okay. All right? That's fucking facts. Why, why, why should a nigga give you ultimate power? Answer me that. All right, then. You got to go get it. And if you ain't mean enough to take it, that's the shit I've been saying. We ain't mean enough. We don't got the integrity enough. We don't got the gall, the balls enough. Say, man, fuck you, mush them niggas and take what we want. Nigga, you want to buy from a nigga who stole from you. I can't, I'm done. Hey, I say. That's that difference of, that's the difference of attitude that the nigga talk about, man. Yeah. That's integrity by, even versus even reformers, bro. You got to take the different, uh, the different goddamn attitude. Like, we might not, he, what'd he say? We can't expect reparation, but we got to have an attitude as if, bitch, you owe me some hope. You know what I'm saying? So this is, I just, I'm just all for the taking a different attitude, however it is, man. I feel like we got to be goddamn, got to come more defined with the, as, as far as us as a whole. Shit. That shit. The only, thing when you, only thing a lion can expect from a hyena is heartache and pain. Huh? Huh? All right, then. What you mean by that, bro? That's what the fuck we got right now. Everything we got right now. That's what that is, Brother T. Huh? You dealing with hyenas. They ain't going to give you nothing but heartache and pain. I said. No love. Why should your enemy love you? You was a fucking fool. Your existence is his demise. (laughs) Huh? All right, then. They'll blow this whole fucking Ooh. world up before they let you take this motherfucker over. Yeah, because you win it automatically mean I lose. Exactly. That's why I keep saying, like, we so, like Malcolm said, we so politically immature, this shit ain't even funny. 
We ain't even came out the womb yet, family. We still fetus. About to get aborted if we ain't motherfucking careful. You understand? Motherfuckers got military bases looking like a beach, nigga. Huh? All right, then. Niggas got underground motherfucking cities, nigga. Huh? All right, then. Well, I said, man, we in this big-ass deep sleep of feel-good bullshit. You know what I mean? You want know to say Little Red Riding Hood bullshit? And the goddamn wolf is getting ready to goddamn put it. Man. Man. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet around this motherfucker on us, people. You know what I mean? Running around like chickens with their head cut off because we ain't ain't thinking about sovereignty. Mm-mm-mm. About, you about reforming the hyenas motherfucking little situation. Not demolishing the hyenas. You want to reform hyenas. Niggas, it's crazy. Black power. Mm-hmm. Uh, you saying that, uh, Brother Little, I think, like, me personally, the, um, the motherfucking cracker, you dealing with the psychosis of this motherfucker, man. Like, he in his mind, because he's a parasitic creature, black existence means white demise. But for real, it, it don't got, you know what I mean? It, it really, that's not necessarily the case. But in his mind, this is what the motherfuckers is fucked up because they thinking that Nah, can't. nah, nah. That really is the case. He know history. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, we was existing already before the motherfuckers, we even knew the motherfuckers was in the world. So, it ain't like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like, we was existing. They was still existing. As, you know what I mean? They came into existence. But, the psychotic nature of that motherfucker, they want what we are. They want what we have. And they've grown so accustomed if, to it, now they feel like they need that shit. And they, they do need it, though. They do need it, though, because what they going to eat? We put them all back in the, in the mouth. Yeah. What they going to eat, man? What they going to eat? We go back to town. We, we, we regain Africa. What them hoes going to eat, man? Never come back. Whatever them bastards was eating before they ran into us, you know what I'm saying? And that's why yeah. they ain't going back. It wasn't that's why I'm saying. They'll, it wasn't right. eating. They blow up the was, whole world. That's why they left where they was at. No doubt. You only go grocery on. shopping when you run out of groceries. All right now. You only go grocery shopping when you run out of groceries. Well, did you? But you got to put this out though. It wasn't just they was looking for fucking food and shit. Them niggas ain't have no knowledge of medicine, no none of the high sciences. And when you get a taste of that type of shit, when you coming from trash, when you coming from savagery, you get a taste of that type of shit. That shit is like, you know what I'm saying? That shit is the highest level of addiction. That shit is like crap for them niggas. Like I said, they can't, they don't know how to live now without us because they didn't met, you know what I'm saying, the highest level of human that they could ever encounter. And what you really think that? that you know, hold on, Tom, pause. Right. Y'all really fucking think that? Huh? Tell me. Tell me. That, that, the mother no, y'all really think that? No, I, I that. don't. You really think that? I'm telling you, bro. Man, you you got to wake up, cunt. You got to wake up, King. I'm telling you, man. The motherfuckers were surviving savagely already before they came in contact with us. They were still surviving. They were you barely, did? they were dying. What do you mean? They didn't have yeah, no I numbers. They, they, why? If it was so wonderful, if no, it no, wasn't no, the said, most said, harsh conditions, said. why are you leaving? Now, I said, I said they were surviving. They were surviving in a state of savagery. They were though. dying. That's why you, you, you're moving, too. But you got to understand, though, even though they was dying, they were still existing, though. You see what I'm saying? Listen. If they didn't get lucky and run into us, there'd be no cracker beast. Mm-hmm. It would be no. Goddamn, if Genghis Khan didn't get motherfucking ill, there wouldn't be no cracker beast. Come on, now. Real talk. Genghis Khan was a pinch away from wiping them bastards off the map. He was kicking their ass, man. Kicking their ass. 
And that's real talk. You know what I'm saying? But listen, man, they got baskets and they got robots now. They got motherfucking domes they can create to, to get rid of the sun. What you talking? All right. I'm here. They got a they got a cracker alive right now with no heart. The nigga got a mechanical heart, nigga. Ain't nobody playing in this world but us. I say stop the feel good shit and let's get real on everything. If that shit feel good, it's wrong. You know why? Compared to a workout. Workouts hurt. That shit start feeling good, you need to do more. You need to do something else. You got too used to that. It ain't gonna it ain't gonna benefit you. You understand what I'm saying? Nigga? Hey, okay. Like they say, okay. successful niggas say if you wanna be successful, you gotta get out of your comfort comfort zone. All right then. <laughs> oh lady. Can't do nothing being comfortable, man. You gotta be you good. You gotta that that's what pressure that's why pressure busts pipes or create diamonds. Because it ain't comfortable. It's applying shit to you that it's either will make or break you. Testing your resolve what you got. That's what we're going through right here, right now. Getting pressure applied to your ass. Now we gonna see who the fuck gonna bitch out or who gonna step the fuck up and level up. A lot of niggas bitching out. But they'll pat themselves on the back and talk about they crystal life. <laughs> they crystallize and they material life. You shut your bitch ass up. See, we got to, nigga, the mind is a terrible thing to waste, man. Feel me? And if that shit don't work for you, it's going to work for your enemy. And when your mind works for the enemy, you can't get that shit back, man. That's the mind. That shit don't come and go like that. That shit gone, nigga, it's gone. I say. Let's speak it because I know my homeboy, Zeslin Greer. Nigga, trained with this nigga, used to fight with the nigga. Man, this is my older brother. The nigga going crazy and ain't never been the same. Off a fucking brain tumor, bruh. Chemical imbalance in the brain, shit over. Ain't no coming back. Ain't seen the nigga in 10 years. Don't nobody know where he at. Last time we heard the nigga was walking 500 miles. No lie. All right. So when that mind is gone, nigga, ain't no coming back. Ain't no return. That's your greatest weapon for all. That's your greatest weapon. It's going to let you know who good, who bad. It's going to let you know everything. And you apply the mind with the heart, you can't lose. But most niggas ain't got no heart. See, that's that integrity. Huh? You stand for, you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. All right? So anything that's cracker show you on TV, you're going to fall for. Why? Because you don't stand for the big picture. Sovereignty. Hmm. You in a war and you think ain't going to be no casualties? You ain't ready to be no general, nigga. Sit your weak ass down. Get too emotional and shit. See, when you in a fight, you can't get emotional. When a cougar, or when, or when a predator is killing, they ain't emotional. Niggas is calm. Yeah, that's, what, huh? that's what the niggas is training for. That's what they do all that training for. That's that's why you got to you. That's why you need them ten thousand hours. That's why a soldier getting boot camp. The nigga yelling at your bitch ass in day one to break to make nigga. You need to learn how to go in one ear right out the other. Cause you on duty, you gotta watch y'all back at night. Niggas talking shit, calling you nigga, doing all that. You can't be ready to cry. A fly get on you, a bee sting you. You can't break formation. Stick, nigga. You understand? That's discipline. That's discipline. Ain't no king. Goddamn. You got to train for that. That's why boot camp is mandatory. When you go to boot camp in the military, it ain't, it ain't about no feel-good shit. That shit's out the window. 
You understand? That's what I'm talking about, man. We don't feel good shit. Don't nobody want their little bubble pop. Nigga, fuck your bubble, nigga. Uh, nigga, I'm popping bubbles, nigga. What's happening? What you want to do about it? Bitch ass, nigga. Man, niggas is bitches, man, on everything. You think your enemy don't know that? That nigga know that shit. He like, these niggas ain't going to do shit. I'll start the war for your bitch ass. Mm. You don't study history. You don't know that that, that, that that these niggas finance the king and the king's rival. Because when I tell the king, hey, man, I need you to do X, Y, and Z, and the, and the king don't want to listen to the banker, the Rothschilds, huh? That nigga going to finance your enemy and be up in your ass that same day. You playing. Mm. You playing. That's why Rothschild said, I don't give a fuck who the king is, nigga. As long as I got this money, he's going to bow down to me. That's why they rule the world. One fucking family looked out for their whole fucking race. Preach, I mean, teach. Well, well, well that's what and it's called the house. It's called the red brother, shield, too. nigga. That's, that's ain't no button. But, brother Little, though, we ain't going to never have that, though, man. Oh, we ain't going to never have that money. We ain't going to never be able to come at it from a capital, from a, Nigga, you know how they didn't have no money either. You got to study the Rothschilds, man. They created it. Huh? See, man, that's what I be talking about. We ain't even got no fucking imagination. Damn, how we just, I was just thinking about being free, but ain't got no goddamn game plan. I mean, I can, I, can, I can read about the Rothschilds, man. That ain't what you was talking about, family. That's not what you was talking about. What you mean? Huh? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I said, watch out. One family looked out for the whole race. And what, I, and what I'm saying, fam, is we, ain't, we as a people ain't going to never have the money to come at it like no Rothschild. That's what I'm saying. And again, man. I want to say study. We're not going to have no we with the money. Them if we want to. They wasn't born the money with the money. Like that, <laughs> they wasn't born we, with the money. All right? They wasn't born with it. You got countries in Africa right now, but the problem is. You got all the resources in the world, but the problem is. Wish I had goddamn 50 million Rothschilds. You got all the resources? Hey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's the problem. <laughs> what? One family look out for all this motherfucking race. Of course they're going to be on top. Nigga, I'm the one that put y'all on top. You ain't going to debunk me. And he pumped the goddamn tricks, the queen, the wagon the fuck. Let me ask you this, brother Little. Let me ask you this. There's a people that's not going to be able to come at it from a, from a monetary uh, Why? revolutionary Why? kind of way. How will we, Why? How will we bro, listen to me, family. How, how, I mean, how, damn, you might as well get just that quick. I'm trying to ask. God damn. That's all right. I'll pick that in a second. All you got to do is create the moon money, man. All you got to do is be sovereign. That's yeah, the whole point of being sovereign, bro. I remember I was finna say, bro, because when you, when you bought yeah. Mr. Rothschild, you were talking about how they how they will finance your enemy if you ain't do what they say. You know what I'm saying? Okay, exactly. so my question, is, my question is, knowing that we won't be able to come at it from a monetary perspective, you feel me? How will we be able to still defend against that? You feel me? I mean, like, we know we know they gonna always have the money over, us, right? You know what I'm saying? We know, we know they gonna have them, the paper. Put paper, it like this: uh, power over. Y'all, we whoever won't rub them, our people. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. That's bigger than the money. I'm gonna tell you right now. Whoever won't rub it, whoever wants your resources, get rid of these motherfuckers, and then we talk. Mm. Shape. I gotta agree with that. Yeah. Gotta have imagination, man. You gotta put yourself in power, man. Huh? All right. I agree with what you're saying right there, bro. But when I, when I was made my statement, I was that's what I was speaking to. What you said right there about the Rothschild being able to play both sides of the fence. You know what I'm saying? I know we. Because the motherfucker's man, smart, man. Because that motherfucker is a genius, man. 
huh? An evil fucking genius. That's what we lack. Because a nigga want to breathe spirituality in a motherfucker all of a sudden. Shit ain't got nothing to do with motherfucking being sovereign. And when you're sovereign, nigga, you can worship any god in the goddamn galaxy. Mm-hmm. And make your enemies bow down to that motherfucker, too. That's, that's what happened to us. Nigga didn't know no Jesus. Jesus bopped you upside your goddamn head. Now Jesus ain't going nowhere. Just like that. Just like that. Nigga, pull them out of the thin air, boop, bring them in your head, and there you go. There you go. Nigga, made money out of thin air, boop, there you go. <sighs> See? Uh, Phil, so, uh, hey, hey, man, you know, we lack imagination. We ain't got the ain't got the mental power for that shit. I can't see. You got to have meetings and huddles up. You got to be told what to do every step of the way. Is that an adult? Maybe oh, I, maybe I. Mind of a child. Okay. It, 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 it reminds me of my niece. She 12 going on 22. That's what we is. Right, we five years old going on 55. And ain't nothing worse than a child trying to act grown. That's just embarrassing. I say. You know, you say I'm, you know, brother little, I'm listening to you. And a lot of what you said, basically everything you say is just a run off of reading 102 from last year, two weeks. Murked out. Now, now, I'm going to just ask you, Brother B. See, this shit been going on since we first laid eyes on the cracker. That's just a hundred. We got a billion to the list. Huh? Another million. Exactly. No. All right, so as a general, Brother B, we can't break down over that. Mm-mm. We honor them, show up the thing, and we got to keep it pushing. It ain't going to make me feel better, though. No, but our people got the, uh, we got too many people that think that this is la-la land, that, you know, you know they, they still caught up in the, the Wizard of Oz. They Darcy. Yeah, that ain't yeah that's, that's our fault. That's what we got to do. That's what we got to smack motherfuckers up for. You know what I mean? Like, ain't you know what I mean? That situation. Like, the situation ain't fucking, and that's what, when I'm, Cause it ain't, it, but truth be told, it ain't real till it's at your doorstep, though. That's the problem. You you you're under the illusion of the Wizard of Oz. You know. It's you, too late. You, you Dorothy got to wake the fuck up. It's too late when it's at your fucking door. And see that it's all an illusion. You know. That you that that you are the one. Only you can change your shit. Okay. Can nobody do? I it? agree with all that. I agree with all that. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And, and the only reason why you would want to change your shit is if you had the realization that there's something wrong with how you live. That there's something that needs wow. to change. You know, and, and so we got too many of our people, um, young and old, who don't see this as a continuation, thus the nature of the beast, period. Whether they're smiling at you, whether they're in front of you as your teacher and professor, all these things. Okay. Hey, I'll take. And so that that's why, you know what I mean, um, calling off all those names like that, you know, in, in that aspect, I see it. It brings you know, back the brilliance. The, the, right, we, we deal with whatever one is put in front of us, and then we protest, we cry, we... Shall we, we, you know, do the gospel thing or the Muslim thing or the Hebrew thing, and then that's that. You know, what happened to or uh, or else, huh? I saw. How many have been uh, murdered since or else? So, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. 
we have got to see this has been like like you said, this is for millions, millions. They ain't stop. And they're not going to stop. We have to stop. We see a little bit of accent. We see the people moving a little bit because they're getting the little snippets. They're getting the emotional charge from the ones that they're showing. Our people not really getting the understanding of rearranging their politics because they're not, they not seeing that this is a consistent daily basis. They ain't understanding the consistency of the motherfucking beast. That this ain't no mother. Like, you know what I mean? This is a consistent move, so you can't be on no fucking once in a while, I'm going to try to change this shit. Can't be no once in a while. You got to be every fucking day, 24 hours, seven days a week. Anytime that you're not in the mode of taking back your fucking freedom, and, and if that ain't even least in your mind, then you fucking up. But when a failure come in, because we, we, we haven't become disciplined enough. I mean, we're not disciplined enough. Even the ones who know what time it is, we lacking our discipline. I'm lacking my discipline. I ain't going to even fucking put it on nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Instead of your working fucking habit. So you gotta, because that's the first thing you got to It become a habit. It didn't become a, your fucking lifestyle. You do it on a regular. You're doing it. You're doing it. They say, oh, you, you do that all the time. It's a habit. It didn't become your fucking life. I shame. And respect to you. See, that's what the real world does. Uh, 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 and say and dealing with yourself. See, you don't get to see examples like that on a day-to-day basis. Uh, you know, a man, let alone an African woman, carrying herself in that fashion and saying it the way you just did and starting with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Respect to you for that. Because those are the kind of examples that our young people need to see so they can emulate that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with all that. Brother Lou, you that on. Yeah. Everything you said is 100. Um, Brother Tim, add on some tools. Everybody... I say. Mm-hmm. Everybody on point, man. I'm t- you know, need this charge up, need this reevaluation. Tomorrow we got a lot of things going tomorrow, and so it'll be easier. Yeah, you always got to assess the situations, man. You always got to assess the situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and another thing that I heard from Sister, um, I believe it, I believe it was Sister Camille. When she was stating about dealing with the press and dealing with having taking interviews and doing interviews and stuff like that, and I found that I I've been asked and been requested to do shit like that, and I don't, I'm like, nah, man, I don't want, I don't want to fucking talk to nobody. I don't need no fucking, I don't need none of your motherfucking publicity, none of that shit y'all got. Because that's one thing that I found that they play on our people. Our people want other people to know what the fuck they're doing. Ah, uh, Shay. Ah, uh, Shay. That's why I said, man, we got to form secret society. That's why they, That's why you got to do the shit. That's, why, like that's, that's, that's yeah. why the mystery schools was like that. You got to do the shit, bro. Yeah, man, that shit don't work. I'm like, yo, you can't. I don't want, I, everybody don't need to know what the fuck we doing. Only people need to know the fucking people right here we doing it with, man. That's it. Hey, all the crackers need to know is I got a mop and a bucket, nigga. That's all they need to know. I know the way that I move. I I, I know that it's innate. That's why I can't nobody tell me about it. It's important. Okay? You got to. They have it, and that's not the reason why we must have it. I'm not saying tick for tat here, but that's the reality, too. So I'll be damned if anybody could tell me or my people what we can have amongst ourselves and how we can do it and how we can move. I mean, I mean, but the truth of the matter is they wouldn't have been in this position if they didn't go underground. They didn't go secret. Exactly. You know? They wouldn't have won with everybody on what time it is. Exactly. I was raised, we was raised up on superheroes. What do they all got in common? The Justice League. They get they got a separate identity. Yeah, they're secret. The yeah. Rob yeah, they, got, they, they got their name. Right, they right. Sacred, sacred identity, separate identity. The mask, the uniform. Yeah, the, the motherfucker, they're here. 
Change his name to but, Belmont. Secret identities. Yeah. I would like to say though. Right. This is I would like to say because y'all know I do. I do like. <clears throat> my bad, fam. Um, I am for the for the idea of having some kind of speaker. You know what I'm saying? I would say that, but I do understand what. I do feel where y'all coming from as far as organization wise, you know what I'm saying? I do understand that. You know what I'm saying? And and my reason for for being on that side of saying, man, sometimes you gotta you gonna need a speaker, man, is because I see, man, when you don't have somebody like that, man, it just opens the door for any fuck ass nigga, man, to goddamn step in and goddamn rep and say they represent and represent what y'all standing for, or whatever, whatever, and, and goddamn me put their own agenda behind the shit. Nigga that don't nobody even know. You know what I'm saying? Or don't nobody have an affiliation with. You feel me? And and I, and I just feel like you do have to have some kind of protection against things like that, man. You do have to have somebody that can come out and say, look, you know what I'm saying? Woo, 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 we know that's not a woo, woo, or yeah, that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what we, whatever, whatever. You feel me? You know, I, I mean, I do say if you do put somebody up there, he does have to be. Like I said earlier, I was, I would, I would rather go about it the way that they went about it, as far as having somebody trained. You know what I'm saying in that uh, media. You know what I'm saying public speaking or whatever. But uh, you know, I, I, I think it leaves you. I think it just leaves you in a fuck position when you have nobody, man. You know what I'm saying to stand up and speak your position. In, in the fight, you feel me? I mean, I understand well, so, we all our own leader. Right. I do understand that. You feel me? I understand we all our own leader. I understand. I'm not talking about a leader. I'm not talking about a, a nigga that's leading the march. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like a more of a a position player role. A player, national speaker. Speaker, speaker, of, yeah. speaker of the house type shit. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. More like yeah. a speaker of the house type shit. You feel me? Because... Cause, I just don't want to see a man. I see. I witnessed it too many times. I just witnessed it this way, this last week with this shit just passed. You feel me? A motherfucker getting in the news, my nigga, representing organizations that they that nobody in the organization has heard from their ass. That's agent shit. It's leaving your ass open for that shit. Well, and you know, one of the things like brother, brother Lou was talking about the Rothschilds, and I was just thinking about the situation where they didn't have a national speaker. What they did, though, was have a national ideology. And they sent from a location, from a central location, they sent out delegates to put their national ideology in place in the different areas. Mm. You know Nigga, every, everybody that ran their banks is with the fucking function. It was with the function already, y'all. Yeah. Everybody. And you can't talk, bruh. See, that's our problem. We only want entertainment and attention too fucking much. That's the problem. See, the pressure right. ain't never told you none of his plans. I say. Never. When they get up there talking, that's fucking shenanigans. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's mumbo jumbo. They ain't, tell you, they ain't saying shit. They doing that Loretta, that Loretta uh, Lynch shit. You feel me? You don't, you don't look at it as they're, they're spreading their propaganda? You don't look at it in that form? Nah, because you are, nah. you are using the enemy's medium. There exactly. has to be a gain like for the enemies. Do, whether I'm aware of what his gain is or her gain is, their gain is, there's a gain that they have by having whoever they have on, 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 on that phone, in that camera, in that spotlight. So That's say, the lesson that got to be learned. TV. Yeah, because that, they, they can study you now. They can study your body behavior, your language, just try to pick things. I mean, you you, you just got yourself. Look, who cares what they think? The thing is, we need to have our own means of communicating Hello. amongst ourselves. You know. Okay. There you go, Queen. I, say, yeah. and I, mean, I said that earlier, so I'm willing to. I'm willing to. You know, I'm saying take that back. You feel me? I mean, oh, I understand where you say right there. You feel me, Black Power? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Black Power to you, brother. Time. Time. But you know, nigga, you, man, brother, bro, we all out here looking for our, you know what I'm saying? We looking for the way, man. You feel me? Yeah, I'm throwing new ideas like everybody else. You're supposed to turn else, over every man. rock, brother. You know, yeah. I'm supposed to turn over every okay. rock, every leaf. Every rock and every leaf, yeah, we supposed to shake every idea that we can. Vet that shit out and see what the fuck is what. And put it man, in make it stand. Nigga. If I'm talking about some shit, it don't make no sense. Then, nigga, I got to shut the fuck up. 
Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. You vet the fucking situation right here. I mean, because so we done had this conversation for yeah, these times, and today I'm really just getting the, I'm getting a full understanding, man. You feel me? I'm getting, I mean, right now, I, I have to say, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't go for the for the speaker shit no more. You feel me? I got to admit that. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that can't rock. But, I, I mean, you know, my house, so I, 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 I just hate to see us left open for right. shots like that. You feel me, fam? That's my whole shit, man. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? They say, like the RB shit. Like the RB shit. Like, hey, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Man, it's like the squeaky, the squeaky wheel always get oiled, but who's doing the oiling? Okay, now. Uh, who doing you it? want your enemy to oil your shit? Then why are you talking to the nigga? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh? Hey. Now, hey. Have, have a little huddle up like the Bilderberg group do. Have a little huddle up like a tub of Rome do. Have a little huddle up like all these motherfuckers do, and you don't even know. Mm-hmm. You're watching a fight. Ain't even heard about it. Ain't seen the flyer. It don't apply to you. <laughs> Fuck your opinion. What you gonna come over there and say? Hey man, I feel y'all should be more more kind to the black folk. Let me shut your ass up. You know what I'm saying? That, it, it's I just can't. a waste of breath. Just a waste of breath. Feel me? They got they got speakers all the goddamn time about about these little uh damn things they be having. All kind of interpreters, all kind of world leaders there speaking. What happened? Nothing. You still get beat upside your head. Okay. And I, I don't know. I'm going to have to check this out. But has there been a United Nations resolution uh, against the brutality and the cruel and unusual, humane murdering of black men in particular and black people in general? And the Sister Kamina, of this? I a story. I read a story about that with the UN. I have to find the story and, and, and really vet it out. But, like, there's a lot of U.N. activity in in America. People see the U.N. move around. But it was it was alleged that the U.N. is looking to take up civil rights violations against America. Black power. Man. But see, see what y'all will see. That's the both. angle to that is global order. Yeah, global policing, what they really going to do. Right. Yeah, that, that's, that's the U.N.'s job. Yeah, that's the shit. Yeah, that's the fake. Like, I, I heard it, but it's the, really the fake out because now we just put in the, the world police. And now y'all all hit, nigga. We got y'all. Fuck, fuck what you heard, cause we the world police. We don't even speak your language, so we shooting and we don't give a fuck. Ain't no begging and pleading with us. We don't know you, motherfuckers. Well, you know, cause my response to that would have definitely been, why now? Why mm-hmm. not last year? Year before oh, last. Oh, because checkmate you know is imminent. That's like why checkmate is imminent. I, I just seen an article that um. The UN is inviting Black Lives Matter to their meeting that they have the next week to discuss the George the, uh, Soros is issues. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> exactly. So that's the whole gist right there. You know what I'm saying? You know, I had to really, again, like I was saying, they finance one thing and finance your enemy. They finance all revolutions, all wars. Pull me wrong. You play both sides against the middle, man. We're gonna win no matter what. That's how you get no your what. objective. That's how you get. That's how I get what I want. I got the I'm nigga winning. over here. Got the nigga on the right. And gotta go in the middle. I'm winning every time. I'm winning no matter who. Wins. Be- hey, hey. what that Jew had said? It's all about the shackle, baby. They gonna get their shackles anywhere it goes. They getting their shackle from you. That's right. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day. And they have a successful blueprint. Right? That should remind me of that God Award movie. Hmm. You got your shuckles right. Well, the God yep. of the Bible is the God of War. The Lord of War? Exactly. exactly. The Lord of War, that's it, the Lord of War. I told you I was right when I saw Moses. And, 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 and that's what's so wicked about the Bible, because you can read the shit. And still not make no connection. You know, Moses came down with motherfucking force on people with the sword. He was a, a prophet of war. You either accept this or that's your motherfucking ass. All the Old Testament niggas was like that. 
You know what I'm saying? But it's but not protected that way, even though it's, it's there. It's Dante, literally there. Word. They hold the Jew, that's his mentality right there. He's like, yo, listen, man. It's about conquer, man, period. Same fucking game. Don't nigga, when them Bible niggas came through, they destroyed everything and everybody. Everybody. Man, woman, child, and oh, animal. The fucking family. And if they didn't destroy the animal, God got in their ass. They destroyed the soil, so you can't even... They asked that nigga, why you didn't destroy everybody? I told you, nigga. Oh, oh, because I felt sorry. Nigga, God put a punishment on them niggas. <laughs> Speak on it. Yeah. You feel know me? I told y'all motherfuckers to annihilate these niggas, man. I ain't say go. They telling you this. This ain't fucking culture, man. This look, the Bible is white people culture, and it's really the Jews live by this shit. They not like regular white folks. They living by this shit fully, one hundred percent. We gonna we gonna follow this, and I mean when I say live by it, I mean the cultural practices and values that's in here. Fuck all Yahweh and we praying all that punk nah, man. They praying all right. They praying on your ass. But well, all the praying they doing. Mm. Black power. Damn. The Jews make all the whites worship them as being God's children. That's the children of God. That's why America give Israel so much fucking money. Yeah, because they're God's children. <laughs> this ain't nothing but Israel fucking watchdog. Just the police. Just the police outfit for Israel. They military outfit. It's like the, like you have said, they got that one ideology, Zionism. Yeah. You see mm-hmm. Zion in the Olympics. You'll see Zion in the Matrix. You see Zion whenever these crackers let you know. That's true. The national and, and all the other Jews fucking know it, and they let, they they the ones that make it thrive. See? And if you ain't with the shit, you get ostracized. Ostracized, yeah. If you ain't with the Zionism, you'll be ostracized. They'll kill your ass. They'll kill you in, in Israel right now if you say something against Zionism. Nigga, they'll kill you and blame it on the Palestinians. Hell yeah. Kill your motherfucking ass. I mean, look at what they've done with Gaza, right? For 10 years now, they've had it where you can't come in by airplane, boat, none of that shit. They have an embargo. And the people that are there, even though I know they are invaders as well, they've had to live under that for 10 fucking years. But the and it's, it's like it's okay. No, that's what the question to the Jew is like. He asked the question, why not? Why shouldn't they live like that? What the fuck is what's, what's the problem? Why not? What's the problem with this? They go again. They better be glad that I'm allowing them to There you go. There you go. See, that, that's the problem. The fact that you think you have the right to have that sway over another person's life. Yeah. That you could come in and take somebody's shit. Even though it ain't there, they did the same thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like your world life. That's why we need a new motherfucking Bible. Or something. black people need a new Bible that's just like that. We need a new religion, and all they talk about is kick your enemy ass. Everybody's an enemy. We got to kill them, slay them, <laughs> all that shit, man. It got to say that. That we got to be praying, yeah, that's real talking, down, down to it, and um, that's the only, that's the way we're gonna get right. We need a new, we got to have a whole new, we got to be like, Nat Turner is our Lord and Savior. That's it. Harry okay. is That's our it. Lord and Savior. That's it. Ain't nothing else. It, and and all, of, all the songs and the hymns got to be about, yay, we play the Europeans from hill to hill, from, from goddamn shore to shore. That's what the songs got to be about. The pale skin devil. Yeah, about the pale skin devil. And that wild Mongolian, he jumped on it. Just, just, just the stories have to be like that. <laughs> and that way, we'll come to some semblance or some real sense of what the fuck needs to be happening. That's why I got the book. Listen, man, this dude, this sister Angela Freeman, she make, yo, listen, they good for adults. 
She makes some of the most excellent children books. That I'm talking about black people in there killing crackers, cutting their hands off of Arab. Not right in the book. You see it. Black people whopping them down beautifully. So you can have an idea. Brother Boy, that's, that's nothing but propaganda, man. Yeah, we can look probably. at the Bible and we can see that it's been the biggest form of propaganda they ever had. You know what I'm saying? We need to get, we got to we got to find it we got to find that right propaganda, man, but it got to be filled with that type of thought though. The thought got to be like that. It can't be no thought other than that. It can't be I no say. thought or oh, we shall overcome by being the meek and, oh, and all that shit. Can't be none of that shit in there. The meek will inherit the we, earth. We, we, if you no, look not. at that Bible, that's what they shit is. They shit is killing that. Yep. See, they they hug niggas out. That meat shit be shit for other people. It ain't for them. Nah. That ain't nothing shit for them. They the masters. They told your ass, look, man. Be Moses shit. wasn't meat. Mm-mm. They tell your ass to be meat. Now they stop on your motherfucking head. Okay. But honestly, I'm serious about that though. We got the we got the term where that's what we teaching our children. That's what they books look like. Trust. You got if y'all don't got none of these books, you got to check. You got to get at least one of them. Super Hey Woo or something like that. Get one of the Super Hey Woo books, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I'm ashamed of myself that I haven't gotten one yet. You know what I'm saying? Just what? Do one of them. They like, just get one of them, and you'll see what I'm saying. That it's so vivid. All the pages is black in the kids' book. Ain't no white pages in the book. All the pages is black. Mm. I say. I say. Mm. Don't even let them write, read on no white paper. Mm-mm. That's you. Like paper out of there. On you know, black paper. So, you already know how it's going down. You know how it's going down. So. Back to the queen. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Production on black paper. When I seen it, I said, what in that? She said, I want everything black I could. She said, I told her, is it a different color paper I can use? Can I get some black paper? So they was like, Black paper, we ain't never really used that. Like, they said, but we'll do it. Oh. You know what I mean? Our family printed it up for us. On black paper. I said, all right, black top. They don't get no more black power than they got there. We ain't going to even write on black on white paper. Yeah, that business. See, I feel on that shit. Hmm. She said in the message of fuck it. Yeah, that's in the message right there. Yeah, hey, well, yeah. Fuck you. Anytime, <clears throat> they write, anytime they write black, it be in capital letters. Anytime they write white, it's in small letters. That's how I write mine right now. I say. <laughs> Even when I write cracker be. Yup, this is Always. so funny. I'll be doing that now. I'll be conscious of it every once in a while. I catch y'all on the hold up. White got to be small. Always. Black got to be capital. No matter what, no matter where black at in the Senate, got to be capital. Okay. Right at the beginning of the Senate, lowercase. I don't give a fuck. And you'll see the matrix appear when you do that, too, because... Jesus automatically is capital J. Now, B.B. Fahodier wasn't automatically capital A, so I made it that way. Yeah. Oh. Mm. You see, you see the matrix. You, you see it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the capital, that, that capital letter got a story to it. Yeah, you decide now. Mm. That's why Bobby said, uh, uh, what he was talking about the end, the Negro. Oh, yeah. Capitalized that motherfucker. Yeah, when they was calling themselves Negro, yeah. Marcus did. He said, hey, that's going to be capital. We're going to be using that. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Now over a hundred people get 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 ran over with a semi truck. So now they want to rock you to sleep from us being annihilated and make you compassionate and make you feel for these motherfuckers over there in Paris. So Please check me. this out. For everybody I see that's compassionate right now for the motherfuckers over there, I ain't fucking with you no more. And that separation right now Please that don't. we don't need, I'm just keeping it real. Because on a daily basis, we get annihilated. Their religious politics has nothing to do with us. That's a Euro trash problem. So let them destroy each other. There's nothing to do with us. Don't lose focus on what's going on and don't lose sight. We're still being annihilated daily. Three teenagers got 30 rounds put into them, and they was all killed just for sitting in the car by the police listening to music. We're being annihilated daily. The babies is dying. Another queen has to bury her young prince into the grave, and there's nothing coming to heal her. Nothing at all. Just think about that. What, pal? In a real way. Uh, man. Uh, with that being said, though, family, we're going to go out the same way that we come in. Y'all check us out. Slow the house Saturday. We're going to get it on and pop and ready to rock a couple people's heads. You know what I mean? Hopefully we might we might try to get in one of these numb nuts. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to look to see, you know, maybe get one of these numb nuts in and say, nigga, what the fuck is y'all doing at no motherfucking oppression conference? Numb nuts. You know what I'm saying? Um, what is this about, man? What kind of shenanigans is this? Who you setting this up for, nigga? Who you work for? You know what I mean? But uh, with that being said, though, we like to go out again as we come in. But, um, and that's where the praise that Turner. Glory to God, be long live the spirit of Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad. Praise Harry Sutton. Glory to Ida B. Wells and long live the spirit of Sister Fanny Bohemian. I'll be before we end. Cracking the trunk. House nigga, too.